Yes. Finally. At long last. Maybe. Possibly. Is it picking anything up? It is. There you go. Finally. At long last. Here we are. Well, I mean, YouTube isn't actually picking up on the whole, you know, updating the chat thing, but... Who cares about that anyways? I've discovered I did notice an entire section of dungeon, so we're gonna do that now. That's that's what we're gonna do. About fur fleas and, mark territory. and join me in prayer. I did kill the defiler. In fact, the defiler was very, very easy the moment I got the thing that causes bonus damage Speech whenever you hit it. Sometimes that made it very, very, very simple actually. I just shot it thoughts. multiple times until it exploded because of all of the bonus damage that was getting stacked up on it. Speak simple dimple. Speaking of Simple Dimple, um, I was supposed to use the crack grenades against it, but I forgot about that, so I'm going to use it against this space main and bow before me. The disgrace of Anarchia will be avenged. Sorry? Anar- Monarchy. Anarchia. This is more Keramite, isn't it? It's like my Keramite hide. No, Monarchia. Mon, as in king. Monarchia. Monarchia. Spelled very obviously. There's no A in there. There's, there, there's no possible way you could possibly go Anarchia. Monarchia. Same way that Ceramite is obviously Ceramite, not Keramite. I know this because Keramite is a very dumb word. That's how I know that. Nobody would actually call something Keramite. You know why? Because they'd be fucking retarded to do so. Just like somebody would be retarded to call somebody Kyphus Cain, for example. That too is something that nobody would actually Faith do. Without deeds is worthless. Unless they felt a deep and abiding urge to be shame and for the entirety of their lives thereafter. Yeah, you can fill the purple bar while you're at it. No, D and D isn't dead, chat. What's wrong with you, little silly willies? D and D is just fun. Battlefields are always drowned in scarlet. Well, I'm sorry. You can't kick me back because there's a tiny bit of railing behind me there. Why did you even bother trying to kick me back if all you were gonna do is charge back in it? Well, the, the AI actually does what I do as well. They add on the sworn enemy thing after they've finished doing their stuff. I knew I wasn't doing that. Game, right? right, elevation. My oldest and greatest foe in this particular video game. Um, there you go. If I must. And I forgot to do all of the various buff thingies, which is entirely if it normal and natural. Your cause. Don't worry about it. Sure, I don't know what that button does, but it probably does something. Tried and tested tactics. As Ending a fast. Five pounds. D and D is dead. Admit it, you coward. D and D is not dead. Not yet. I will do my duty. Perhaps it's on life support, <laughs> but it's not dead. It, it is not dead. At your beck and call. I have done what Victory is required is of me. I have done what is appropriate and necessary. To keep it alive. For I am not a Kyle. I am not the unrepentant slaughterer of role-playing games and everything else I've ever participated in. I am good. And anyway, Nintendo Archley, what happened with D&D? Today was a necessary break because I needed to oil up rags appropriately. I fight the long war. You should always make sure that you take care of your uh, various house animals as need. That includes, you know, taking care of their coats and stuff like that. Very necessary, obviously. Fire is the answer. <laughs> I kind of prefer it if you were over here now. Um, please. Emperor, keep you over give there. me strength. It's the same principle as taking care of, uh, you know, cows and other domestic animals. Do you need a little bit of brushing too? Such as this life. Isn't this a job for the serfs? They are both. Very, very, I very special. A not a servitor. Little flakes that may be made of snow and water. Painted black. And such is just reality. Finest hour. You know what? There's quite a few of them down there. How about Argenta? How insist, about Lord you? Captain? 
go over here. The enemies actually. of the Emperor will be undone. No, go over there, actually. And then In the we name do of that. House Orcelio, I shall prevail. And then we do that, and then we do this. Oh, Ulfar, I'm sorry, you... Were you in the way, Ulfar? Oh, wow, apologies, Ulugar. I didn't know that you were so unfathomably fat all the time. You none can escape the Emperor's judgment. This is why I was chosen. Almost two kills. Probably happy with that. Isn't this a job for the And debuff them as well. Reverend Norse for 100 Swedish kroners. Arch, you've seen the Tales of the Empire trailer. I am so pissed we get it. Scroll. Don't scroll on me. Thing. Stop it. Uh, we get it now and not back in 2015. Would it would have been good? Such a waste of an Empire perspective story. It could have been amazing. Tales of the Empire trailer. I have not. Give me uno momento. I can't play it because I'm probably going to get copyright claimed if I am. Tales of the Empire. Okay, uh, the Clone Wars style animated series uh, graphics, but where you do things, where you look at things from the Imperial perspective. My tactics are okay, flawless. I mean that is pretty much what I've been asking for now for absolute ages, right? Just Star Wars from the perspective of the Imperium or the Empire. Yep. I mean, I would adore basically. Uh, again, like I've said this again and again, right? Band of Brothers, but with Imperial Stormtroopers would be amazing. I, I would love that. That would be absolutely great. But I do agree with you. Uh, there is no possible conceivable notion whatsoever at all, absolutely none, zero zip nil null, that this will be done well today. Ain't gonna happen. It just is not going to happen. Not a chance. It is going to simply just... They're just going to lay it on too thick. It's like, they're evil. 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 They will never be able to engage honestly with the ideas of the Imperium. I... I Empire. I don't think that for even a single solitary second that they will be able to engage with it in an honest fashion. Because the Empire has good points to it. It absolutely does. Quite a few, in fact. is worthless. I mean... That was why I kind of actually liked the uh, the short animated one with the furry lop, right? As because that one actually presented like what appeared to be a genuine uh, point of moral contention, I right? From Lop's manifest. perspective, she is taken in by the nice and noble uh, Japanese people who are like, Lop, umaiwa, furry desu, and we are uh, highly, highly, highly sexualized furries desu. I'll and so, obviously, she thinks Imperium is bad when she starts to ruin her family. Okay, okay, make you sense But from the perspective of the daughter, which makes it even more interesting, because now, of course, you're dealing with that from the perspective of somebody the that the judgment. furry likes. Well, the Empire seems pretty goddamn chill, honestly. Their planet was uh, was failing, it was backwards, it was As feudalistic, it had no real future. <laughs> then the Empire shows up Faith and it revitalizes it. It builds an economy, it defends it from outside Delta threats. It doesn't really do anything particularly oppressive the to them. You know, sure, they've got a police force, but I'm pretty sure they this had a police force previously as well. You <laughs> fucking think. And that too. One of the big I'll issues is, I guarantee you, you they are the going Emperor. to conflate the simple act As of having a police force <laughs> with being evil, because it is la current year. This is why I was chosen. I thought it was a very Faith interesting potential deeds. story that you could really do a lot of things with, but again, this requires you to engage honestly with the idea that the Imperium <laughs> might do good that things as well. 
instead of simply just it. assuming that they're going to be evil, always evil, irredeemably evil, not. no matter what. And this is 2024. It ain't gonna fucking happen. Pain and Ow. duty go hand in hand. Ow. A born predator does not become prey. We don't know dog. And kick him to good measure. They're <laughs> just kicking each other now. <laughs> like two fucking tards. Let ah. the galaxy burn. Raining Teddy, did you finally convince Rags he is an Oathbreaker? Nope, still working on that. I'll only get that eventually, I'm sure. Maybe, burn. possibly. Burn. My dude, calm down. Just designate a target. Uh, I can't see anything. That's unfortunate. Follow my lead. Nobody is quite as hard as Adelard, which is sort of kind of true. Indeed. <clears throat> At your back and forth. Adelbard needs to be able to hit more times. That's really things he needs to do. Jonathan Smith for ten dollars. The Japanese video, America's pre-war ad actions to Japan were almost all based upon Japanese actions, what they were doing in China. They were lines in the sand, they kept crossing them, US responded. That is, of course, the pro US point of view. But <laughs> see, I had an argument with Deb over this. This was before see, here's the thing. If America was honest about that, I'd say Fuck yeah. Great. Absolutely. America is like, no, no, no. We're around. the world police. Um, you're behaving in a fashion that we don't like. Um, stop it. Or if we're going to just start Lord doing Captain. a really assholeish thing to Isn't you for an extended for period stars? of time. If they'd done that, I'd be like, all right, fair. Fine. That's exactly how you're supposed to do it. Yep. Bad, bad Japanese people stop being mean to the Chinese, right? But they didn't. And this was virtually all Franklin Delano Roosevelt, the single worst Ready president up. in U.S. history, oh. I might add, in my non-too-humble opinion. Who did this? Because his speech, when war was Since inevitable and, you know, declared after the Japanese bombed the hell out of etc. In his do. speech, he went, uh, nobody wanted war less oh, than sure. I. This is the motherfucker who threw every down. single solitary action was a pissing off the Japanese, getting involved in their business continuously. And these lines in the sand weren't created because America was looking over at China and going like, oh, those poor, adorable little chinky winkies. We must save them from their fellow Asians. No, it was because they were looking at China and going, oh, it's a lot of, it's a lot of valuable shit over there. A lot of valuable shit. We would like to be American shit. For the same reason that every the single European power act. was over there. Because they Doubt wanted it the to weak. be their stuff. And that's entirely I'll fine and justifiable. That's it, what imperialism was all about. And you know what? Imperialism was a pretty great idea, everything considered. A pretty fantastic notion. My worst day. Oh, yes. God damn it, out of blood. How dare you die to Been measly no bolt arounds? You were blinded by your own misery. The fame hungry come. Pretty pathetic there, Adelbard. Dead already? Wow. I move swiftly to strike. I really need to get him some power armor or something, apparently. I understand your intent. Franklin Delano Roosevelt. God damn, I hate the man. I, I really do. He ruined so much in the US. He, he was also the guy who managed to destroy a I huge number of the gentlemen's agreements upon which America, the American Republic was built upon. For example, the idea of term limits. If it serves your cause. You know, term limits was not instituted originally. It was simply just assumed that everyone would be like, okay, you're gonna get two, two turns, because that's going to be plenty of time. You're going to be able to, to say, get gaze. four years, Quest. and then you're going to Fire get another answer. four years if you did a good job because people will vote you back in. Fair enough. You know, eight years to do what you wanted. Makes sense. But he 
Well, because the thing was, too, you need an exception to the rule, right? Me. If there were exceptional circumstances, then sure, maybe you need another four years. Or maybe you, maybe you need another eight years. It's entirely conceivable. And so the best solution was to go, okay, we're just going to do two terms, but we're not going to put in place any silly restrictions. Like, if there are extenuating circumstances, then of course you can, um, you know, present yourself to the American people for a third term. Of course, it makes sense. FDR Emperor, fucked all Be of that up by heart. going, mm, I know I'm literally dying. I know that Faith I literally cannot worthless. carry out my duty of office. I know that I'm As literally having commands, my I wife ask. carry out the duties of the president of the United States, an I unelected you, person. But I don't care. I don't care. Pet monkey. I want more power, and I don't <sighs> care. If I must. And so, we had to institute term limits. <laughs> well, we, you know, you fuckers. Oh, I hate him. And again, the amount of Step shit aside. he did to antagonize the, the Japanese was truly remarkable. I am a navigator. The, the Japanese didn't just decide to bomb, har bomb Pearl Harbor for shits and giggles. Like, it wasn't something they did, uh... Uh, on a whim, shall we say. It was their their last option at that point, after a long series of escalations. Not to mention as well, FDR, frankly, Eleanor Roosevelt, was warned Already by done. his chief naval military advisor. Uh, what was what was his name? Not a problem for me. I, I, I forget now, but uh, he purposes. was warned. He basically went to uh, FDR and said, hey, if you do this... The Japanese are going to first strike our asses because it's what I would fucking do. If I'm in a situation where war was inevitable, my nation would cease to be unless I went to war, Rejoice I would probably battle. seek to strike first and as hard that as possible. And you have just placed our primary strategic <laughs> assets, our battle fleet, within range of Japanese strike capabilities. What do you think they're going to do? And then Franklin Delano Roosevelt fired his ass for telling him what was going to happen. And which, of course, the then did happen. Mm. Oh, I just like him quite a lot. I, I just like him quite, quite a bit. Victory awaits. Terrible, terrible human being on, on every, every level. What in the world? This cannot be. I did fine. You did fine. You, you just needed a few tries to fight. Oh, uh, well, but that doesn't help me now. Video game! Yeah, there's, there's nobody there. Like, hey, we've set up this thing for you to be able to kill all the bad people in this room. Yeah, I, I could just, you know, slaughter them. No, that's an alternative. I don't need to do that. I, I, I can just... I can just kill them. You know? And hey, again. There were... Ooh, hello. Uh, that's going to cause time. an encounter as soon as I touch it, isn't it? Um, well, it covers... You know, I'm kind of wondering why they do this. Well, no, I could go down there and I could go over there and... Would that benefit me in... In any way, shape, or form? Like... I'm restless. Like, if the I send Argenta over us. here, is there a point in me avoiding this? Are those trip fires, or are they actually like damage thingies? I don't know. Because last time Carry they were trip the wires. Will as your torch. Oh, hey, space wolves. All right. Let's assume Does something trouble you, Lord they're Captain? not tripwise. Let's just, just assume they're just dangerous the right things his of light. malicious purple on the ground, and we'll Emperor, we'll avoid them. Us. A new challenge oh, for you, Except, of what? course, then I click on I something not at all. <sighs> Video game. You should not have environmental dangers in a game where you don't actually have precise control over your fucking characters. 
I can click on the ground and everyone's like, oh, you want us to go over there? No, no. You know why? Because you're going to get a lot of injuries if you do that. That's why I don't want claim to the stars. guarantees citizenship. Is there a way I can choose to not engage with this mechanic? Uh, yes. Yes, there might be. If I go over there... Can I go over there? I want to go over None there. Shall stand in my way. I do not wish to engage with the uh, move careful mechanic of this not at all set up to engage with move careful mechanics video game. Go away. Bad. Oh, of course it's locked. Oh, no, no. Victory awaits. Well, at least it won't force me to engage with it on the way back, I suppose. That's nice of it. Oh, did you, um... Movement reduced by half. That's, that's a little bit annoying, actually. Right. Is that a trauma, or is that a... What, what is that? Is that a trauma, or is that the other thing? Service guarantees citizenship. Uh, is that an old injury, or is that... What, what is it, Elblard? Elblard. Blard. Let me tend to your wounds. Careful now. Okay, so that is not an old injury. That is a trauma. Effectively removes trauma. Be strong. There you go. Neil looked hard. I don't like you very much. You managed to get Light hurt. Guide our I don't believe you should get hurt. The I believe I've put enough toughness into you to the point where you should be reducing all incoming damage to de facto gone. zero. What a shame that you lack the capacity to. Sins hidden in the heart turn all to decay. Internet's horror. Don't bitch at me. I'm doing careful maneuvery stuff. Okay? You are in the presence of Don't house tempt or me into I throwing you into you. the swirling maelstroms of gay. I will do so if you know me enough. I cannot be leashed. Right, let me guess. You're going to be too fat to get past here or something. No? 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 Okay. I'm restless. I was kind of imagining he would actually be too overweight to, to maneuver that effectively, but he was not. It's about time. This is good. All right. Good. Wonderful. Ah. Uh... Havoc 1137. His name was Gillard Palon. Gillard? Gillard Palon? He was a chat. Gillard Palon. I won't tolerate weakness. Gillard Palon. Gillard Palon. The Navy dog, dude? No. I don't. No. No. I'll lay claim to the stars. I feel like that isn't right. I feel like that, that's not correct. Adrian uh, Jose, the split in ideology in D&D is appropriate. Rags is the only man in the campaign. After all, Shame V and Rags are so polar opposites. Yes, yes they are. Follow my lead. Hello, Space Whoops. Oh, there's the Dreadnoughts. I was wondering if we wouldn't see one of those. Yeah, the Hellbirds. Oh, gosh, the dr the Dwetnon is killing us. We didn't bring any anti-tank weapons. Cause we're fucking retarded. <laughs> Doom scream. Collect the blood of the false believers in a cup. Reap of their pitiful strivings. Drink of their sorrow. And the laughter of the two gods will thunder in your ears. I am the wrath of the Allfather. And his wrath is to be dreaded. Traitor of the... What? 17th? Um, is this 17th? 10... Four, five, six, sixteenth, seventeenth? Was the V four or was it five? It was four, wasn't it? Sixteenth. I will have your head. Stand aside, young wolf, the baleful howl are here. This prey is ours. Look at the hellbrute. That's just that. There you go. It looks a bit twitchy. Hmm. Evidence of serious damage received in recent battles on the surface. I did tear its storm balls off, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Respectfully observe the angels of the Emperor. Now they're going to get themselves killed. Actually. I was given ten bucks to make sure that Ulfar will turn into a space wolf. 
instead of a Wolfen or a Independent something. So, I should probably just check that out real quick. The Defiler, what that is, all right, doesn't look like there's anything. Noteworthy here. Reverend knows how much money for a full dedicated Roosevelt video? Oh, that'd probably be a lot of research. Hmm, I probably don't have time for that right now, honestly, because that would require me to look into stuff and make sure I'm actually right on the, you know, assertions I make. Out of the way, both of you. He's mine. No, wait, Father. The honor of the pack comes before else, even our friendship. Uh, and then he starts singing. In hours dark, he bars the doors. He who fears guests unbidden. He who fosters purpose taint. He who dreads his reckoning. Well, he knows that in hour dark and savage, the great beasts come to his door prowling. For blood they come, for vengeance they come. The guilty are the prey. Be you malefic, be you monster. Know that. That is a monster far worse to fear. <laughs> Um, well, I don't know the answer. I don't want to interrupt. I'm just going to shut up. Tartar attribution their blood calls us. Fenris remembers all. Fenris forgives nothing. Look, I didn't even have the correct musical accompanation there. Purge the unclean! Unto the devout shall the sacrifice Right, well, be after gifted. I murdered the uh, Defiler, I imagine this is actually going to be way goddamn easier, because this is a boss character. And as we learned from the preceding boss character, boss characters are actually really fucking easy to kill. And do basically no damage. Let's see if my assumptions on that hold true yet again. Isn't this a job for the service? Now, Ulugar, would you be so kind as to get into I base contact with that thing? Battle. Thank you very much. Me? If you insist, Lord Captain. And Argenta. Um. Yeah, Fate just without shoot it. Deeds is actually, <laughs> silly of me. I should have done the I'll other do thing, it. actually. All right, that, that's, it, it, didn't, it didn't take a lot of damage from that. I I will admit. Um, hundred percent armor. Ooh, dodge. Fifty-two percent dodge. I am surprised and impressed by that notion that that thing has a 100% dodge. <laughs> or a 50% dodge, I mean. That's not what I was anticipating of a creature of its, uh, you know, bulk, but... No, you're a lady, you stupid whore! Don't go... Mm. Swift and silent. All right, well, Irolet decided to go that your way. Cause. Very well, you're let. Very well. Sometimes I think Irlet is just doing this to punish me. All right, don't use that weapon. Use the big boy gun. Yes. I am not your secret. ancestors. Guide me. And you might as well set up a follow-up shot as well. As I don't imagine this thing is going to be dying anytime soon. When Fenris is in battle, oh shit! Damn, he's parrying a dreadnought power fist. That's impressive. Beware Jesus! Okay, could you please die and give me your heavy bolter, sir? Because that I looks really ridiculously powerful. Could you please. Maybe just. You know. Kill yourself. Maybe. Just saying. That might be a good thing for you. Because I'd love a heavy bolter that does 100 plus damage per hit. I think Argenta would do quite well with that bolter. I will bathe this battlefield in righteous fury. I will bathe in your fury. 
For you, my Emperor! This is why I was chosen! That's why her damage isn't that impressive. She's got the baby version of the Heavy Bolter. That is not the Emperor's will. Yeah, cool that. I kind of wished you didn't do that. Oh, I'm actually kind of happy you did that, because that moves me out of range for you. A tactically sound approach. Oh, right. There was an enemy there. I didn't notice that. That's... I will do my duty. Perhaps not ideal. At your beck and call. So if I do this, Victory and I hit him, and he hits me back... Oh, no, he, he won't. He'll just shoot me. Okay, well, fair enough, I guess. All right, Cassia, my dear, uh, you're going to have to deal with I'm not accustomed to being that bored one. Around. Me. You insist, Lord Captain. How dare you, if I may. How dare you. That's, uh, that's very Swedish of you, darling. Very Swedish of you. Rain Tenor, I feel like for the average citizen, the Empire wasn't that bad. Also, I'd say Woodrow Wilson was worse than FDR. Heresy. Heresy. Absolutely not. Actually, I haven't looked into much uh, Woodrow w Wilson, so maybe. I can't do. He could be even worse. Suits All I'm saying is it would be a very high bar. It would be a tremendously high bar. Already done. I am a navigator, not a servitor. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. Let's see. You know, Cassian, how about you just keep doing that for a while? In fact, I you go over there. Of military tactics. And I'm pretty sure you can kill that guy. Isn't this a job? Yeah, you can. Good girl. And then you can debuff Me. both of those. If you insist, Lord Captain. And you can curse that one. Good grill. I am a navigator. You may proceed pumping out your damage Me. now. If you insist, Lord Captain. And that actually builds enough to give finest hour onto somebody else. Except there's nobody really worthy of getting it. No, I'm not on the side. I have become the All Father's worthy instrument! I don't think I'm going to go through of oh. your bones! Sorry there, brother. Didn't mean to shoot you. Can I kick that? I can. Oh, holy fucking shit! 100, 144 damage kick! Jesus, okay. Um, I understand your intent. Right, I don't know why I suddenly kick. I like a thunderous fucking pet, deity, monkey. but apparently I do. Nice. My heart sings with the thrill of battle. No weakness is hidden from my sight. <laughs> this tedium is beneath fortune favors the swift. You dead yet? No, but you're getting there. This is the brute that acquired several packs of space wolves to hunt down. This is the terrifying monster that needed the my entire army to deal with. Oh yeah, there we go. Phase one. Okay, fair enough. So that that's because that seems somewhat pathetic, if I have to be entirely honest with you. So he's got a weird shield around him. I don't know what that weird shield necessarily does yet. Faith without deeds is worthless. As the Emperor commands, I act. I'll do it. Excuse me, I'm just gonna... <laughs> shoot you like a dozen times. And you can't reach her. Why? Because you're too fat, that's why. Well, these space marines would have been a lot more threatening if they knew how to maneuver through tight corridors. Tight corridors. Tight spaces. Not even tight spaces. 
if they allow if they figured out how to maneuver in general, they would be a lot more dangerous. Battlefields are always drowned in scarlet. Alright, so Me? we'll just tear your soul out if of you your butts like that. <laughs> I fear not the blasphemy of the deluded, for it promised to me, for it is promised to me. With my eyes of flame, I pierce the hearts of the doubting, for it is granted to me. I root out false faith, for I stand on the true path, and I will not be forsaken by the protection of the true gods. And then he just keeps singing at him. Behold, all father, how fleeting is a coward's valor. Instead of brazen hymns, please for salvation come. But my hands are full with weapon laden, thing with a out a finger span for mercy or for grace. But stay the old wolf's charge against the foe. Corruption's mighty beast he did valiantly ravage. But the right to sever its rotten weird thread with another claim, a hunter fresh and battle bold. Uh, do not interfere. Let them have their little gay wolfy stuff. Stand aside, our young brother. Our foe is wounded, but well banked is his malice and still smouldering. My lot will be his blow to meet. My hide ear carries scars aplenty. I read that for a moment as my hide be erect. To my elder bowing, the right of first blow yielding, but last for myself keeping, the foe shall die to have by Halbrand's hand. I'll see you destroyed. What did that mean? Did he did he decide to not hit him, or did he decide to do it anyways? I'm not sure. Anyways, you're both gonna have to hurry up because I'm pretty sure if you keep you know bickering and complaining and whining and not killing it, uh, Argenta or Irulet is probably gonna be the ones to actually put it out of its misery. Now, if you would be so kind, just go up there and touch him. Our foes reek of there cowardice. you go. Now he can't shoot us, because that's how the rule of this video game works. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Eh, I suppose you can hit him. Right my too. hand is thunder. My strike is ruin. Gah! I am kicking him harder than I am hitting him with a sword. I don't pretend to understand the logic of that, but... I'll have to go with it. No challenge is too great. I really want his bolter. I really, really want his bolter. I'm sorry, Mr. Boss Enemy. I'm sure you're very large and I'm sure you're very terrifying, but... You don't I actually have the ability to hit monkey. me or anything, so... Die. Close, close, close. Be careful not to cross my gaze. Uh, Jonathan Smith, there is no black and white. There was self-interest, but the rationale for the economic restrictions was the decade-long Japanese occupation of China. If they stopped, they would have been ended. Uh, well, black and white is self-interest. Because, of course, here, here's the thing. If the American interest in China is to expose the Chinese I to expose to not a servitor. What's the English word? If, I may. if the uh, is self-interest as in they wish access captain? to Chinese resources, then surely Japan is equally justified in saying no, we want access to Chinese resources. It's the exact same motivation. Although it's entirely admittable that one went about it significantly more brutal than the other. In the abode of the true gods, there is neither time nor prohibition. What is reflected there will endure forever. I was, and therefore I am eternal. Doom scream will resound in your ears. With glorious song, the gnat buzz will drone out. And with sweetest mured, the traitor's name will wash away. Tell the blood moon wolf you fell at noble Halbrand's hand. Hjolder. <laughs> just oh, okay many lessons have to you young wolf been handed down so let this be your last tread not upon your elders prey what is a friend is that proud litter extolling not bad he's supreme glorious greatness after litter extolling oh i didn't even click on anything but i'm i i he approved so that's fine fine hunting eidvata the prey and the verse have me well pleased Has your pack honor been upheld? 
The name of Baleful Hell was not tarnished in this battle. Would you like to kill that thing before it, you know, starts shooting us with the Reaper Cannon? Oh, you just kicked it in. <laughs> I, I don't know if that will kill it, my dude. A dying enemy rasp and gurgles. I guess it. I guess it will. Okay. Glorious trophy. Look over at how the brat's smirking. <laughs> Judging by his sluggish movement, the young wolf is alive, but not entirely lucid. A storm cloud of heavy bruising is spreading across his handsome face. What shall they do with your brother? Noble Halbrandt, it would be unwise for you to come with us. I think it will be some time before you are well, and I do not want to have to answer to the Allfather should you die. Let no one say a worthy warrior met his foolish end because of Ulfar. Well, maybe he shouldn't have fucking punched his lights out then. My heart is raring to fight, Brother Ulfar, but my legs are in no hurry to carry me towards the enemy. I will join the fray when I can stand, if you would be kind enough to leave a few heretics for my blade. Well, for your bolter, I hope, but... I get your drift, I get your gift. What in the world? I align my path with yours. None now. shall stand in my no, way. I'm sorry. I don't know what this thing is. It's big and it's hard, and there's like hammers nearby and stuff and magical roots. But I don't understand what it's used for. Maybe some kind of smithing. Fuck knows. It's a new. It is an item far beyond my keen. I mean, I'm I am a space stats? noble, you know. It I, it's not necessarily something you should expect me to understand. The blacksmith craft. Ah, Sins hidden in the more careful maneuvering. To decay. Again, in a, in a video game where the characters have the fucking turning arcs on them. Okay, turn I'm that off. Myself through my service. Good go. Turn that off. Duty prevails. Good grill. And the last one. Blessed be the road that's stepping that we on take. it. Thank you. You managed not to blow your legs off today. Excellence matters. What save? That was a very easy boss fight. This is so classic fucking owl cat, by the way. Like the actual Victory boss fights, awaits. stupendously easy. Facile even. Done. Some random side enemy murders your entire party. And you don't even know why. You don't know why he did that. You're not even really rewarded for it. It's just... There's a thing somewhere in the game world that is infinitely more powerful than the actual end game enemies. And it's just, it's just there. You don't know why. You don't know how. You don't understand why, what reason they were placed there. And the only reason is because Owlcow is like, okay. Administration is a holy task. We know Follow that some of you dirty little fucks like min-maxing a little bit too much. And so we put this enemy in here. Eat dick and die. Basically. Oh, and that is apparently I dead end. tolerate weakness. Urulan the Cru- excuse me? Excuse me uh, Oh, is, was this an alternative path to Urulan, perhaps? Ah, oh, okay. Well, I didn't know that was an alternate path, but I know now. Not that it matters, but still. Right. Victory Yet awaits. another dungeon explored, and now I think I've seen everything I can see here. Oh, corrupted cogitator. Did I play with you? Yes, yes, I did. A new challenge for me. Make sure we don't forget any of the loot, of course, of course. That looks like a secret wall, but I can't open it. Uh, good. Ooh! Rage fire plasma gun. Well, I'm glad I didn't miss that. Ugh. None shall stand okay, in my loot way. I need to work for. Uh, fine, it might be valuable. Eh, sorta, of, sorta, of, kinda. It's about time. All right, I think we're done with this place. 
Sandim for five dollars. Law question: Did Magnus ever learn Horus was the reason that Prospero was to burn? I really don't know how much, no much on that. What? I need to move those bottles. That's blocking part of my screen containing the super chat. What Magnus has been up to in 40k? Um, don't know myself. I didn't read through all of the Horus Heresy books. I never got through all of them. There are simply just too many of them, and they started I dropping quality after a certain weakness. point. But you'd think he'd figure that one out eventually, wouldn't you? And this was the fact that Magnus split into shards, so presumably... Um, Victory awaits! I, I think, wasn't that part of the reason? That he just went like crazy or something, and that's why he split into shards. Presumably it's because he realized that he would betrayed the Imperium and stuff, and therefore there's a loyal shard? I guess, maybe? Hmm? Order on the quill has been vanquished. But now we must deal with why are you naked, Wilugar? Wilugar. Why are you naked? Seriously. Wilugar. Why? Wilugar. Why are you naked? Also, I like that this guy just brings nothing but like long fangs with him. His entire retinue is just dudes with heavy bolters. So we meet again, old far thunder lunge. Live long, rogue trader. Business has brought us to your drekar. Drekar, drekar's a weird word for this because drekar, I believe, is specifically in reference to the ship of the dead. What was the the ship made out of nails? Not nails, as in you know metal nails, but nails as in fingernails, incidentally. In Norse mythology, what's that? Uh, uh, uh. Greetings, brothers. What brings you here? The long covers, Fenry's shoulder, my lord Thorboss, you made the order every officer on deck to begin preparations for a feast. That sounds like a good idea. Wait, his supreme glorious greatness, Sir Archer Teller. Before we revel in victory, the deed must first be done. Brother Ulfar, you swore that you would stand for the honor of your pack, the baleful howl. Did you descend to Erfreetis too with your brothers? Did you fight? That world my boots did tread, in a fallen hall my victories cried, I roared. The day the Allfather asked for a reckoning of my deeds, I will not be ashamed to tell of the siege of Euphrates. Who will bear witness to the truth of this wolf's words? <laughs> yeah, I was hoping he'd pipe up. Because I was like, okay, if I say so, that'd be cool, but it'd be better if Halbrand says so. But th there was a risk there of everyone just Question. shutting up. Fire is the <laughs> and Ulfar would just turn <laughs> towards me slowly like, Bitch. I'll bear witness this. In that battle, there was no wolf more valiant or bloodthirsty than he of the Baleful Howl. Show us the scars, Brother Ulfar, that we may see the mark of your deeds in the flesh. I did not acquire my scars to show them off, Brother Thorbald. <laughs> We're all big scar fetishes here. Show the scars, brother. Show the scars. Uh, look more closely at Ulfar. Ulfar's decision to appear at this meeting without his armor suddenly makes sense. You are watching a ritual and Ulfar's show of modesty is merely a part of the performance. Aha. All right. Sure. Come on. Ulfar turns with ostentatious reluctance to let the light fall upon the fresh marks he received in Euphrates too. You had no idea he had suffered such deep and grievous wounds. The cloud wraps in a roar of approval. Did you take a glorious trophy in that battle as a token of your valor? Ulfar removes the horn he wrenched from the hellbrute of his belt, and he notices that he is already carved with Phenmizian runes. Ulfar proudly shows the trophy to his comrades, causing another explosion of cheers. Proudly thunders the baleful howl. Praise the old father for sending us such formidable and valiant brothers. Except from the stormbiters, this gift of honor of the battle that was fought. Shoulder to shoulder. Singer of fearsome sagas. Okay. You all, uh, you all best friends now? Of course, Rogue Trader. Ulfar is our glorious brother, and any one of us would gladly die for him. Do not seek to understand wolves. Only one born on Fenris can understand the nature of our friendship and our enmity. And the Stormbiters are my brothers. It has been an honor to un hunt with you all. Thorbald, now will you tell Ulfar to look for his brothers? 
I will stand in all far's way if you choose to go searching, but, brother, you've proven the glory of your pack. Is it not time to sever this weird thread? With respect, I once again extend my offer to join the Stormbiters. Forgive me, brother, but I must decline your offer. Though my heart fills with joy at the thought of fighting alongside you, I, Ulfar Thunderlunge, swear before the Black Mane and by the blood of Fenris that I will not cease to seek my pack until my own eyes behold them, alive or dead. I understand, brother. May Black Mane run beside your path. Fortify yourself. Stoke your rage. I see that your heart is darker than the waters of the world sea. So I ask you, take care that you do not join those who of whom you must not speak. Wolfen, whee. of whom must you not speak? No, I shouldn't say that. Uh, give us a look at your new axe. A rune priest tempted, tempered it in the sea of the despicable word bearer who fell on Euphrates too. The blade is enameled with bone meal from the tooth of a Fenrisian kraken and inscribed on it other days of all the brothers of Baleful Howl Pack. Fenrisian weapon can mean different things, whether glorification of past heroes or commemoration of the fallen. Arnulf and Skiadi. Thank you for this gift worthy of the Varagir Ironhide. I see you've decorated your trophy. When I return to Fenris, I will drink Muir from this while singing the saga of my march into the Coronas Expanse. Are you sure that's entirely sanitary? I'm just... Just asking. So what now? Well, we should probably return to our Drekar. Well, far becomes very serious, gives you a significant look. Uh, um, significant look. That's feeding the fine feast, I'm guessing. There you go. The kitchen servants here are certainly no match for those serving in the Great Hall of Fenris, but the master of this record are not lacking in hospitality or generosity. Right. It'll probably produce some casualties, but, you know, that's fine, that's fine. That's okay, it's not a problem. Okay, I'm not going to figure out at the moment. Okay, so no rumors at the moment. Fair enough. So, I am guessing, yes, demand answers from Kalkazar. Wait for Agenta to approach with news. Okay, well, just because I'm, I'm, I'm bored. Agenta, hello? Greetings. Ah, new stuff. Oh, goody, good, good. Um, Joseph Smith. Okay, let's use that rationale. Japan wants China exclusively into trade with U.S., and the U.S. had the right to withhold trade to gain access to China. Yes. Like, both parties had the same motivation and the same reason for interfering. They wanted China. <laughs> At the end of that conflict, well, whoever wins was so in the right. Citizenship. It's, it's very, very simple, really. It is it's very simple. I just hate... But again, the, it's the hypocrisy that annoys me. It's, it's, um, it's Delano Roosevelt going, I never wanted this war, whilst doing everything in his power to get the war. I don't object to the war. I object to the asshole who started it being a pussy about it. And reigning terror for ten dollars. This whole slavery thing wouldn't be a problem if the Oathbreaker accepted that he was an Oathbreaker. Also, don't forget, Power Wash Simulator on Archcast. Power what? Simulator on Archcast? Don't forget Power Watch Simulator Archcast. What do you mean? I'm confused. I did Power Watch Simulator. I did all of it. I did every one. I did all of them. Even the fucking Thunderhawk, which I really didn't want to. I done that. I, I did it. I have, I have done that thing that you asked me to do. I want to talk about what you learned during the assault on Euphrates 2. Of course. Do you remember the first days of the attack? When we captured one of the heretic commanders? He burned so brightly, you could have seen him from anywhere on the battlefield, I'm sure. <laughs> but what is most important is what he told us before his execution. Oh, something more important than burning people, Dargenta. Huh, must be good. The heretic was one of Conrad Voigtfeuer's closest henchmen, and he revealed 
screaming through the pain. What I had wanted to know for so long. The markers of the route to Salus Prime. The world my heart calls to. The heretics of the final dawn tried all they could to stop us, but they failed. That they did. I wish... Okay, well, is that... Was that all? Did, okay. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that was it. My dear friend, I have enjoyed your company. Oh, you were saying something new. Sorry. My dear friend, today you have a particularly bright glow of jade and gold around you. I have enjoyed your company. I am indeed quite golden. Thank you. Let us raise our cups at Vator and help you to deal with the enemies who besiege your home. And then head for the coordinates that Thorbald gave me. Well, I know, Edvater, that you are dauntless. And if I but say the word, you will join me in my seeking. But the place I will voyage to is a perilous one. Few can survive in it, and though duty leads me there, I do not want my debt to be paid with your blood. Fenris Hjul. Okay, so they're all kind of teasing me with this now. It's like, yeah, we're currently going to do this, but I'm not going to ask you to do it. That'd be silly. Lord Captain. Lord Captain. Elan Tark. All right, well, I guess we're going to go and ask for some explanations then, I suppose. Did I find anything interesting? I did find that plasma gun. 24 to 30... Wow, that's... Never mind, the Ragefire plasma gun, which sounds like a cute thing, uh, is actually worse than the fucking pistols I have. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, if it's shit, I guess it's shit. Add to cargo. Add to cargo. I'm not going to really get much use out of the heretical equipment, unfortunately. Uh, and I got a lot of soul pattern plasma pistols, so I guess I don't need the other six. Add to cargo. Arc Rifle. I mean, that sounds cute, but I haven't really seen much use in that. And you, now that you've got yourself a bland, 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 brand new axe, I think you should use it, because I'm sure it's better than what you had. And a Storm Bolter, eh? That does sound pretty cute. How about you use that? Argenta, anything? Uh, no. I really need to get you a, you know, better heavy bolter. I really need to get her a better heavy bolter at some point. Rain Teta, Archley, power stimulated to not get demonetized. Oh, that, yes. Well, I'm, I'm not gonna... I got. I, I'm not. I can't. I. I can't play Power War Simulator for hours as we talk about things. I will. I will fucking seppuku myself. I mean, I guess. I guess what I should do is find some way to add on white noise in the background. But I feel like people would find that annoying as well. But uh, thank you for the suggestion. Rogue Trader, at last we can speak. The victory of Euphrates too was in invaluable in and of itself, but what great fruit it bore. I know now the way to Salis Prime, the planet where a great relic of the Imperium lies hidden. Are you prepared? I will go there at once. My gratitude is yours, Rogue Trader. Come, Argenta. We will go fetch your power armor. And in return, you will receive as many headpants as I deem necessary. Let's see. Where am I going to go to do that? 
Lord Captain, the situation on Foulstone requires your attention. One of the servants tasked with the crucible maintenance has declared publicly that he has been liberated of all worldly concerns, for he is none other than the reincarnation of Saint Cornatius. There are some extreme questionable reports claiming that he has performed miracles, supported by a congregation garnered by preaching. He was he asked, asked for your lordship permission to depart from Foulstone with the crucible in tow, so that he may continue Saint Cornatius' work and use the relic to transform worlds. One truth true to the faith of the Imperium into lush, splendorous gardens. It goes without saying that such a generous gift to the Coron's expanse could bring great redound to your lordship, but at a heavy cost. Fallstone would turn back into a wasteland, it would lose the prestige that comes with having charge of such a valuable relic. Um... Let's hear opinions. False prophets in the streets are a common occurrence. Their sermons breed turmoil, riots, and acts of disobedience. The Inquisition recommends that such unstable agents be isolated and quietly removed. Good idea. The arch enemy's lies take on many guises, but the Emperor's miracles are a hundredfold stronger. On more than a few occasions, he has bestowed epiphanies upon the faithful, even those of the humblest origins. I myself bear the name of a poor orphan who has granted miraculous powers by his grace. So give me time, and I will find you the most loyal agents who escort Brother Pure Voice on his travels. They will keep him safe if he is pure, or punish him should they sense deceit in his words. But I have a feeling that his rebirth is a true wonder. <sighs> but Argenta, it's going to cost me a lot of money to do this. Fine. This this sounds like a like a appeal to chat. Hmm. There you go, chat. A vote with your voices. Or your wallets, alternatively. <laughs> Ill Smith, you're right about FDR equals evil, but Japan chose war and their government literally syndica syndi syn syndicated uh, and their government literally syndicated of the military industrialist firebombing was evil. The so government literally syndicate of yeah. the mil... Uh, three and industrialists, as like in in a as in they were syndicated with them, um, sort of yes. I mean, the um the Japanese system is incredibly fascinating because at, on the one hand, the emperor was ri literally literary. I was about to say the tenor heka, right? Everything was about the Emperor. You could only do something if the Emperor said you could do it, and the Emperor's wishes were actually used as justification to do things. But the military were also doing stuff for their own intentions, absolutely, by basically saying, oh, this is totally what the Emperor would want, and they would, then they would go off and do some crazy shit. This was the justification for why Imperial Army commanders invaded Manchuria, for example. They literally said, oh, oh, the Emperor would totally want us to do this. And... Because there wasn't enough political pushback against it, that was agreed upon. Yeah, the, yeah, the, the emperor totally did want you to do this. Uh, this was also why the military rioters were actually executed, because they didn't have enough uh, political force to basically get the emperor to say, like, oh yeah, no, I, I totally agreed with that. And the Zaibatsus as well, which is what I'm presuming you mean by the industrialization of the state. Oh yes, the Zaibatsus were given enormous authority, enormous power, and enormous wealth. Essentially because that too was like in the name of the emperor. It was a weirdly fascinating state, kind of like a... Um, like a modern day theocratic nation where the people who engage in the theocracy understand the benefits of it. It's, it's, it's a really weird state. I don't think there's ever been a state quite like it. Or unless you kind of count the papacy in a way. Because there, uh, there were times during the, the Borgia papacy in particular, right? Where there were people who literally view the papacy as a job, in essence, who took enormous advantage of the power and the riches that the papacy could actually bestow upon them, and basically treated it as like a mercantile position, you know? But even then, the, like, the Pope was in on it, so it wasn't quite the same as 
it is a matter of tremendous discourse whether or not Hirohito was an active participant um, in everything that was going on, or whether or not he was an unwilling victim, you know, kind of dragged along by forces beyond his reckoning, is a really interesting field of study. No, 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 no. Like, okay, Japan, World War II, it was called Italy, World War II, and Franco Spain. Not at all, like, because... Italy was a pure fascist state, where Mussolini wasn't supposed to be the god emperor or anything, he was simply just the personification of the state. And even Mussolini had a, like a, a like a board behind him, like co-rulers, sort of, you know? He didn't claim the religious authority of it, and neither did people act in his name as some sort of a justification, you know? It was the state, not the person, at least in theory. And as for Franco is Spain, that was more of a cult of personality, but again, not to the same, like, religious degree. Read Fox Media. Nothing to say today. Here's some money. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. And Jonathan Smith for another fiver. Thank you, sir. Had a long history of hostage emperors. The Shogun did everything for the emperor, then thing the emperor didn't want because they were for his good. So oh, absolutely, yes. Censorship. And that's kind of what adds additional, like, interest to the Hirohito discussion. Because Japan did, as you say, have a long history of emperors essentially just used as political tools for the, um for the, the betterment and the use of the shogun. Now, that did kind of end during the Meiji Restoration, so you can't really just outright assume that Hirohito was the same kind of puppet emperor, but at the same time, Hirohito was also a very weak emperor. Like, his primary interest was playing around with his, um... Oh, what, what, what was it? Like, he was he was interested in... Was, his, was it... Was, it wasn't botany, was it? It was like, um... Like... Collecting butterflies or something weird and effeminate like that, you know? He didn't really come across as the Chad Emperor that can rule the nation effectively and reign in the military, eh? Mm. Alright, the chat seems to want to kill the false prophet. The false prophet, I, I, I just now realized I wrote there. That's fine, we can kill the false prophet, that's okay. Um... Oh, no. Forcibly, if necessary. Hendrix, have your agents get rid us of this troublemaker. They will see to it that his disappearance is sufficiently mysterious so that the believers uh, delve into speculation about his ascension instead of trying to look for the truth. Service guarantees oh, that's brilliant. Uh, so Mr. Mr. Miraculous ascension immediately spread amongst the rabble, and soon there were those claiming to have witnessed the event. Brilliant. I love that. That that is that is fantastic. The Inquisition make him disappear in such a way that people go like, "Wow, <laughs> he must have ascended." <laughs> I love that. That is that is perfect. I adore that. So, wow, he's with God now. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, definitely. Your Lordship, a monstrous storm has broken out on Yarnus. There is no end of trouble on Yarnus, is there? The apocalyptic anomalies are tearing our agri world apart, and their epicenter is in the desecrated sector. So Something must be done before the whole colony is destroyed. We have to find the source of this madness. Fire is the answer. 50-50-50. 50-50. I've had good chance with the 50-50 so far. Yes! I knew it. The escort squad reports the Emperor protects them this day. They advance through the desecrated sectors with few casualties. Our people have reached the Xenos ruins that once served as either a palace or a gargantuan machine. They have encountered an extremely high concentration of spirits. It appears the spirits are fighting amongst themselves with two particular vivid ghostly figures amongst them. One of these prominent spirits irradiates blue light and seems to be clad in Eldari armor. The other is engulfed in purple flame and clad in Xenos ceremonial raiment. They utter sound reminiscent of Eldari speech, but any attempt to translate them have proved unsuccessful thus far. Yeah, I was about to say, Irlet, weigh in this, please. It is an old dialect from a time before the fall. Order your warriors to aid the spirit wreathed in blue. It fights for Lilithian purity against a despicable sorcery. Even an echo of this spirit's voice is enough to understand that its cause is just. I can teach your people how to explain to the blue spirit that they are not their enemy. 
What does it matter what those spirits are babbling about? They both must be slain. Yet, Varta, turn your warriors and inspire them to fight for their home to the very last. They have already made sacrifices to get this far, so remind them what those sacrifices were for. I think Irlet is probably the expert on this, so Irlet, go ahead. Scouts attack, destroying the purple spirits one after another. The blue phantoms recognized their new allies and did not harm them. Once the battle was over, the dignified spirits swathed in blue flames reached out to the scouts' thoughts, granting them visions. The planet, which was inhabited by the Eldari prior to the fall, at some point became one of the many theatres of the war between sensual excess, the dogma that drained of the Xenos for that time, and a ascetic self-restraint, a local ruler, Kesai, was enlightened and wise, yet susceptible to depravity. In his desire to transfer his soul to another form of existence, he created a mechanism that would let him take over the bodies and minds of all his people. One of the ruler's bodyguards, named Halcyon, rose against the tyrant and mortally wounded him, but could not stop him from merging with the machine. Halcyon then gave his life to bind his own spirit to the device and continued fighting therein. This tragic conflict marked the end of the Eldari on the planet, but preserved an echo of their souls and those of their leaders. Then the spirits disappeared. But for how long? The bodies of the fallen and a strange relic discovered amidst the ruins were the only proof that for a single day, Yarnus was once more engulfed in a war between long-fallen Xenos. Okie dokie, Smokey. Um, security minus three, I don't like that. Hmm. Profit factor. Build the things, build the things, things, things. Can't build any of those. Decree on diligence, efficiency, provisions, efficiency, people, doctrine of rationality. Weeaboo! A penal battalion, security for all colonies. Yes, immediately. I like it, I like it. Thank you for the ten extractors. Hmm. Weapons, efficiency, plasteel, mechanism. That one. Right. Uh, where was I going? Got a twin star system. Uh Where is this? Planet. Uh forgetting twins. A big problem, companion. Driven. Uh, Pastors on second ship wait. Raith Tawi. Raith Tawi. Raith Tawi. Okay, I have no idea where that is. Sail is prime. Sail is prime. Sound of the moon. Sound of the moon. Sound of the moon. Sound of the moon. Uh, I I wish you'd told me a little bit more about the uh, you know, a little bit more about the coordinates here. Investigation. Where 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 did you where did you want me to go? The desperate. Where the heck am I supposed to go? Um, blah. Have I not found it yet? I mean, I feel like I've discovered most of the stuff. Um, Smarogmus Mundus. What? Oh, was I supposed to move, maybe? Sees the question. Fire is the answer. Uh, viewing yourself, you should probably have a look at what the requirements for rank 5 buildings are. Just saying, it might be worth considering when building stuff. Nah, I'm sure it'll work out just fine. 
giving consideration to things there Are you for the still week. Toiling? They sounded the signal hours ago. You might overstrain yourself at this rate. Cinnamon Bun. Hmm. The bridge crew will tell tales. Good. Right. Start with the, the proper niceties. Wait. I have something very important to tell you. I am intrigued. Okay, I want to... Wait, wait. Yes, yes. D be, be demure and kind to Cinnamon Bun. The time I have spent with you has been the most cherished time of my life. You have freed me from the shackles of fear and disgust at myself. I... I no longer look away from the mirror. I am not ashamed of my powers, and I do not intend to hide from the world inside the cocoon I once built around myself. Ah, Isn't that just a cute little cinnamon bun kitten? You... have shown me the world... without pretense. The way it truly is. Cruel, unfathomed, treacherous, and full of the most beautiful things. And I've realized that life is not at all like the books we read. Each one of us writes their own story, as best they can, be it with ink, blood, paint on a canvas, or a blade that cuts the air. All right, that's a rather dark lesson to gain from all of this, but very well. And I want... <laughs> by the resplendent throne, I want to write my story together with you. Aww, that adorable little kitten. See, I knew she'd become fluffy. You just need a little bit patient. Um... <laughs> I love that one. It's like, there she is, like, please, can we be together now? And the response is like, no, I'm tired of chasing you. But, but, <laughs> you're not chasing me. I'm right here. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I understand that they need that as an option, but... Uh, that's, that's a hilarious option right there. So, hmm, hmm, hmm. Get down on one knee. Very old-fashioned. I think I'll stumble and smack my face as I'm standing on the stairs right now, but details. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Soft power. Hmm. Enforcement of marriage. Or violence. Hmm. 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 Is Cinnamon Bun Kitten ready for such aggressive tactics? Hmm. We shall go with the middle road. Cinnamon Bun is, is getting there. You know, she's, she's getting there. But we, we've still got to be a little careful. She still might return to her weird ways of thinking that, uh, you know, this is somehow not a relationship or something. We've got, we got to be a bit careful. Be a little bit careful. Gently pet the kitten. Gently. Oh, I did fall down. <laughs> Do you promise to love me till the end of our days? Well, till the end of this video game at least. But for now, yes. Much longer than that. Hmm. That one, that was appropriately uh, poetic. Tonight is a special night. <laughs> Let's make sure we never forget it. Ah, finally, tentacle sex. I have been waiting for this moment for so long. Ah. Oh, there we go. That's the highest level of pornography you're going to be seeing, by the way. That hug there represents the the zenith. Oh, yep, the fully clothed lying on bed. This is the zenith of eroticism in your the 44th millennium. Neck. Let me put some ointment on them. But am I mistaken? Or do you like my claws? Kinky! Very kinky! Well, at least he takes responsibility afterwards. Like, I seem to have shredded your back to ribbons. Allow me to treat you. That's nice. That's kind-hearted, okay? Trust me, not everyone would be so nice. 
And Lunar Legion donates a pound. Thank you very much. I feel, feel as if the strategic donation of a pound right there might might suggest other things as well. Other other things indeed. Right, well, a brief sexual interlude. Uh, now I need to go back to trying to figure out... Uh, those sacred vessel of Hermit was the flagship headquarters. Shot the course for the transmitted coordinates, I guess. All right, so all of our quests are becoming coming to a head now. Right, Tawi. Ah, there it is. That's the place I need to go to. Okay. I just need to figure out now how to get there. Service guarantees citizenship. Ah, uh, Streamlabs. You're using Streamlabs today, are you? Great. Listen, sometimes I'm not looking, okay? Sometimes, the majority of the time, I might not be looking. It happens. For example, I'm not looking at Rumble today. At all. I mean, most of the time I do, but mm, sometimes. Sometimes I get lazy. Oh, great. How much? I saw Thumbnail for Hi-Fi Rush yesterday. Have fun playing that game. Also, Agenda Opinion if you didn't click yet. I did click yet. Sorry. Why, why am I here? Uh, what happened? Why am I here? I mean, sir, you traveled through the warp. Yes. What, what does that have to do with anything? Well, we figured you'd want to have a cutscene or uh, a loading screen. Well, you figured wrong. I, I want to go to a place. Bad, bad video game. Bad. Okay, and over there, and God Emperor willing, this will not display a path. Okay, well, I've got plenty of resources, so diddly dick it. I'm just going to assume it's probably, like, unlinked or something. There. Safe enough. All right, Argenta, whatever we find here, it had better be worth it. Unknown anomaly. That sounds like a quick save opportunity. Master Helmsman Reva reports on the giant anomaly covering most of the system. Confusion is evident in his voice. The Orgus are incapable of detecting the area itself and the objects within it, but it is obvious that they exist. The bloody blots of planets and space debris are visible from the bridge of the void ship. The area distorts even the faraway stars. Dim sparks enclosed in thick, curved glass. Alright, let's check it out. The instruments are powerless before the aberration of the Wraith Tawi system. Sister Argenta face twists with chagrin and contempt. She sees the accursed hand of the arch enemy at play, reaching out to conceal this holy place from the faithful defenders of the Imperium. By her words, in this the enemy failed, for the servants of the Emperor are already here. This is it, Salis Prime. The place where I suffered my defeat. No, that's not right at all. It is the place where I am to pass my trial. The Augurs are operating at full capacity, but the data we are receiving is limited. The planet's magnetosphere is hindering our scans. Fierce, never-ending storms constantly ravage the surface. Relying on Sister Argenta's memory is the only way to find what we are looking for. It is an easy enough task. Just look for the tallest mountain on the northern continent. That is where we're headed. That mountain isn't a mountain. It is the very ship we are searching for. I see. Prepare my shuttle. Vox Master Vignus. I must warn you, you won't have much time for the expedition. We are registering an increase in storm activity. The weather conditions are deteriorating rapidly. This isn't about rain or hail. The local storms can perforate a shuttle mid-flight. Everything in our path is a test. Be it storms or heretics, my last visit to this planet ended with the arch enemy servant wounding me and claiming the lives of my brave companions. This time, it will be different. You and I will fight side by side, rogue trader, and we will do what must be done. That doesn't look like the northern continent to me, but if you say so, video game, then you say so. A 
trivial task. I sought out the far seers of Kruderak, but instead of relief and peace, the truth of their fate filled my heart with bitterness. All right, so it's back up there. Might be some warp fuckery going on. I am devious soul you possess, inhuman. You pretend to be capable of feeling so that we might lower our guard. But all I see is a scrawny abomination with a cold heart. Hello there, random stranger. Ah, the little puppets of Dogma, the ones who were so kind as to bring me and my brethren to this planet. You returned to me, and just at the right time, too. Who are you? I do not know you or know you, sorcerer. No, you don't, but you should. I am called Brother Afterlight. Divine blessings flows through my veins, and my ears hears whispers of the truth that you will never comprehend, puppet. All you need to know is that this... that all of the disciples of the final door in its corner of the Coronas expands. I am the strongest. Ah, we have finally reached the final boss after all of the intermediate ones. Well, I just killed all of the other leadership, so he is probably the strongest, it's true. Who survived, you mean? Yeah, we have killed the rest of you. I hear such hubris in your words. What I should hear instead is despair. What haven't you realized it yet, stranger? You are fighting a war against an ocean without end. No matter how many of my brothers and sisters you cut down, those who join our ranks will always be greater in number. Well, you know, killing women is its own reward, I guess. <laughs> well, that's enough of that. What? Well, Puppet brought some friends with her. Good. I was just finished with the remains of the last group of fools who risked coming to this planet with you. You remember their death cries, don't you? Or do the lives of mere pawns mean nothing to you? The Emperor accepted their souls for his faithful. They died cursing your name, the name of the Puppet who had brought them to the slaughter, and then alone escaped with her life. Enough. Be silent. Oh, a little bit angry there. Follow my lead. A little peeved even. A little pissy. A little bit testy. What do you mean door? Oh, okay. It's down there. A yes. new challenge for me? None are better at searching. Round Trader, you see that obvious box over there? Yeah, well, it's a box. Okay, <laughs> it might contain things. You don't say. Then Nidalit the looks at me. It's like, wow, world. aren't I good at spotting things? I suppose. Centuries of service it's and about time. Ah. An ambush position of some sort. My God! Speech right, Ulugar, can you go down there? I come. What is it? Apparently, Ulugar cannot go down yes. there. Yes. I am questioning the value of this ambush position right now. But then again, I guess I do have more ranged weapons than they do. Probably. I've got a storm ball turn stuff. Prevail. Do you require an audience? I don't have any cover, mind you. I don't know. Is this a good idea? I don't know if this is a good idea. I cannot be um, can you go back there by yourself, perchance? You can. Okay, useful. Oh, no, you can't. Um... Okay, I don't know if there was a point in that, uh, actually, because I don't, hmm, huh, hmm, huh, hmm, hmm, huh. Okay, well, never mind, I guess. Speak, Ed Father. Look no further. And so we meet face to face. Welcome to my temple. Yet every word defiles the air of this place, heretic. The threshold of the sacred ship is not your temple, and it never will be. You have no idea how mistaken you are. For a long time now, I have been prepared to bend this relic of your cult of puppets to my master's will. You Imperium lackeys are blind, stubborn, carry the stench of dead flesh whenever you go. But you make for a good sacrifice, and the baubles you worship make for superb materials for artifacts. 
I am the maker of miracles, the arch artificer of the final dawn. My hands mold creatures capable of transforming reality, bone flutes that summon my master's angels from the immaterium, lenses that burn away the imperfections of people and worlds. Such things require resources. I found good use for the rabble that came with you to the planet back then. I'll find good use for your new friends too, and you, and the ship, and whatever relic it holds. No more. Just die. Submit, and you'll die quickly. Surrender to the dark powers. All right, you, Ubugar, just go over there, as far forward as you possibly can. Adelblart, you as well. Argenta, Idolet, you can hide in the rear like the cowardly woman you are. Actually, go over there, Cassia. All right, Ulugar. Switch out to your Storm Bolter and go there and just, you know, in general, tag as many of them as you can. Mm, yeah, that's better. Me, if you insist, Lord Captain. And Argenta. As usual, we shall open proceedings with a barrage of automatic fire. Should I begin with the boss man? I'm tempted to begin with the boss man. Yeah, let's see how tough he is. Fairly, fairly tough, but we also hit a couple more, so we get a nice big boost of purple there. Nice. Uh, CNL Ben. Ben! Law says there are void rated Valkyries. Yes slash no. Uh, there are in law. Ooh, hi there. Uh, well, that. That. That got big very quickly. Yes, I do believe the Lord actually does say that there are void rated Valkyries. I do not agree with that assertion, mind you. I, I really don't agree with that assertion. I think that is absolute nonsense. But yes, the void does course, the the void. The law does say there are void rated Valkyries, as far as I'm aware. Yes. Again, I I, I am uh, not oh, your oh, God no. Like, have you seen that? It's got it's just got like a basic windshield, basically, and a large one at that. It's not very aerodynamic, and there's no way those engines can punt that thing into orbit. Not to mention, I mean, you can look at the Valkyrie over here. These are obviously air-breathing jets, right? It's got fucking turbine intakes. How on God's good fucking earth are you going to get an air-breathing engine to push you through the void, exactly? It's, it's, it's dumb, okay? It's retarded, and it shouldn't be like that, but it's like that, so meh. Uh, within a one cell radius. Ah, hey. Smack! Did you? Oh, there we go, yes. I was wondering if you'd forgotten your axe. You had, it's just that, you know, it just pops in and out of existence a little bit. That's fine, I guess. And kick him to death. That can't be the actual boss, surely. Let's make it quick. Because I just noticed he's basically dead already. Crush the feeble. You Maybe he'll, uh, can I? Yes, I can shoot the unholy lenses. Maybe he'll, like, resurrect or something. Because surely he can't be dead already. That'd be very weird. Now let's blood buff Adelblord. Uh, I don't even feel like actually doing it. So if I blow you up now, you'll like resurrect or something. Yes, I, I figured. Yeah, it would be a little bit ridiculous if you would die already. If you insist, Lord, try to die with grace, at least. Be a little bit retarded if that were to happen. Argenta, how about we do a little bit of a finest hour fire fest right down there? Yes, I like the idea of that. I'll do it. 
Right down the center. Faith without deeds is worthless. <laughs> very nice. Very nice indeed. And switch over to the melter gun. Actually, do you have the AoE? You do. Nice. As the Emperor commands, I act. Each strike is a prayer. Brilliant, brilliant. Good grill, good grill. Alright, Cassia. Um, hmm. Isn't this a job for the serfs? It will we'll just have Adelbard smack the Rust Stalker a little bit. Smack it around a little bit. Such is the will of chaos. That's something worse. Good. One damage. That's more like the Adelbard I know and love. Indeed. A little bit, a little bit, a little blurred. Checks thinks Valkyrie might be able to make one-way trip from orbit to planet, but not leave afterwards without assistance. I At mean, I suppose you could fire it like a rocket, basically, towards Victory the planet. <laughs> you know, have its boosters burn a little bit, push it uh, towards the planet, and then have it, you know, com commit to basically a dead stick entry. I... I... You could do that. Be really goddamn fucking dangerous, mind you, but yeah, you, you could probably do that, maybe. I'll do it. But don't go, don't go, don't go. Good go. Doubt is for the weak. Honestly, I think the whole orbital thing is is basically just GW not understanding how design works again. And this happens a lot In with GW. Stand, and thy light I crave. Actually, it was that one I was going to use. Yes, I used the wrong one, because that one's actually uh, useless, worthless. and this one's actually way better. The other one. The other one was the one I was going to use. In fact, can I? No. Because I should always use steady superiority, because steady superiority is just better in like every way right, at least we dealt with all of his silly little things also amusingly enough the rate of no fire way, increase do actually work on the melter so since i am getting a rate of fire increase for every dead enemy that theoretically means that i've now got a melter with like a Rate of fire of I don't even know what a lot a lot. Right, I want to try the storm bolter. Let's see. Uh, just just him. Uh, oh. I will cut wounds out of your bones. Is that it? That was awfully disappointing. It probably is literally just GW looking at the model and thinking like, well, it'd be really useful if this thing could go to orbit and back, right? Uh, and then not looking at the fact that it has enormous air-breathing engines mounted on it. No more. And that's even assuming that GW knows what an air-breathing engine is, which I would not give them the credit of. If it serves I, uh, your cause, I deal death with my hands. I would think long and hard before I accused Games Workshop of possessing such complicated knowledge as... What an engine that breathes oh, air is. is I think that would be a radical so suggestion. Quite an extreme one, in fact. See how the yeah. in disgrace. I must not falter. Oh, I don't know about that, honey. I think you will Step falter. Aside. The navigator is coming. Like right now. If I may. Come on, die. If you there you go. 
When I first learned of this planet's existence, of the great relic that lies before us, I decided that I was chosen for a great destiny. The saint whose name I bear had summoned me, led me through the void and the nightmares of the moor, all so that I could enter the sacred halls of this ship and accept her boon. And now, more than ever, I believe that I was right. My journey here was paid for in the blood of fallen innocents, but their sacrifice will not be for naught. I will enter the halls of the hallowed ship, I will lay my hand upon the relic, and find new strength to turn my wrath against the wicked. Very well, Arditor. Ah. Do a brief moment of stretches. Ah, you speak as though you intend to go alone alone. I do. This, this is my personal trial, rogue trader. Besides, so it is written in the life of Saint Argenta that pilgrims may enter the ship one by one, for their deeds must first be measured. Every pilgrim will thence be permitted to behold the relic or deny that right according to their past actions and the strength of their fate. Alright, go Argenta. Fetch your power armor. Only the worthy, those whom the saint accepted may enter these gates, the undeserving will be rejected. I, I am ready to accept her verdict. Wow, it's really lucky that the automatic gates still work, otherwise this would have been tremendously anticlimactic. Old Captain, please return to the ship. I urge you to hurry. The storm is coming, the one I warned you about. You can't survive it on the planet's surface. Argenta, you silly woman. I won't tolerate weakness. Silly woman, Argenta, you blew up and shit. There is no way inside. I'll lay claim to the stars. Okay, well, she'll be waiting for me on my I ship, I'm fine. sure. Miraculously resurrected or something. Victory awaits. Probably. Almost surely. I should have quick saved. But I'm almost certain. But we need a little fake out to see if she's actually dead. Two days later, there we go. Familiar drogue trader, familiar voice greets you, and yet so much about it is unfamiliar. Argent's appearance is calm to the point of being frightening. She is surrounded by an aura of unwavering resolve that scorns the very idea of faltering in the face of opposition or obstacle. The dark fire in Argent's eyes is mitch matched by the radiance of the majestic set of power armor she is wearing. I have returned for my pilgrimage, rogue trader. I have returned with a relic that was once bestowed upon my patron saint. So this is the armor of the One Star. Yes, I found it at the end of a long journey through St. Argenta's ship. And the moment I touched it, my heart was filled with calm and hope. It is a sacred relic, but its place is not within the darkness of a far-off planet, but on the field of battle against things impure and profane. And I am proud to have been chosen as its wearer and keeper. What did you see inside the ship? I saw both everything and nothing. I walked the entire path in darkness, with nothing but my intuition to guide me. There are times when I felt like I was passing through grand palaces and cathedrals untouched by the decrepitudes or elements. Other times it was like I was trudging through boneyards, places where martyrs had died at the hands of heretics. Only twice did light fall upon my face when I saw the sacred relic before me, and when I saw the way out into the bright light of day. But through every moment of that dark journey, I knew I was not alone. The light of terror and the call of my patron saint were with me the entire way. Well, it's good to have you back. Indeed, and I am ready to follow you again, more than ever. Ah, Mars Pattern Bald Pistol, Bolter Weapon Proficiency, well... Well, apparently it's too small for you. Right, did you fetch anything else interesting? Did you actually put on the power armor? You didn't. Okay, well, let's just put on your power armor then. There you go. It's like, well, no, I wouldn't. 
I wouldn't just equip it for n out of nowhere. My god, no. That is vastly inferior to what I already have. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? I did pick up... Ah, didn't I pick up some... Yes, Arbiter's Solom Solomon Veer's armor. That one. Yeah, use that one. It's nice and heavy. I gather so many weapons, and so, so painfully few of them are actually worth anything. Right, throw another 5,000 rifles into cargo, please. Another bunch of bolters as well. Uh, not you, Henrix. Well, at least we finally got Argenta's quest out of the way, which is nice. Uh, where's the fat guy? There's the high fact totem. Right. Um, any of you offering a uh, heavy bolter, perchance? A heavy flamer, not quite. Nope. Not in the previous things either. I'll take the multi key, thanks. Enforcer Carapus, fifty per cent. And I'll take the medkits. Cosmodelock mission? Any, uh, no? Uh, well, you got a calibrated heavy stubber, which, I mean, would kind of do the job in a sort of, kind of, pseudo sort of way. Okay. Uh, that made me level up a billion times. Hex rifle, uh, probably useless by now, but we'll take it. Is that heretical? It's fuck. It is heretical! Oh, goddammit, I didn't know you were heretics, goddamn. Fusion gun, outcast's visor. Psyker's Breastplace. Okay, cute, cute. Warp Guide Staff. Well, unless it's got Devastation on it, it's literally useless. A Storm Bolter. Mm -hmm. Vortex Pendant. Sounds useless. Heavy Xeno Mesh. Sure. Sniper Rifles. I used to like those, but oh, it's been a while. A red Crystal Staff. Advanced Medikits, I will take. A bigger, better Astartes Ball Pistol, I will definitely take. Presumably a bigger, better Astartes ball pistol. I don't know that for sure just yet. Ah, Dark Eldar War Gear. Yeah, I used to have one of those. But, well, you know. He didn't really manage to make himself beloved by chat, and so chat fed him to a demon. It happens. It really unironically does happen. Rarer than I would thought it would have been. I would expect the chat to have been far more bloodthirsty, but honestly, they've been surprisingly merciful. Alright, five willpower to the for ally. Uh, useless. Uh, Dance Macabre. Assassin Dance Macabre. Too complicated. Go away. Bleedy Buddy. Toss Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. It might have been good for Xenos, dude. That's not bad. If somebody doesn't have something. Like that already? Okay, well, you can't wear it, so never mind. And I'm gonna get an additional attack this round. That is very good. Definitely use that. 
Uh, single attack to attack with two melee weapon. The attack deals three bonus damage. That sounds very good for. Oh, never mind, Drukare. Uh, so much critical chance for. We're doing a turn. Meh. Psycho Staff Unique Power. I basically never use the Unique Power. The Slash Ability makes an additional melee attack with the secondary weapon. Cute. Yeah, cute. Equal to the Psy rating. Ooh, very cute. Uh, heretical. Shove it in the cargo. Psyker's Breastplate Heavy Armor. Hmm, heavily armored Psyker's, eh? Is that a better ball pistol? E Yes, yes, by quite some margin, actually. Very nice. Can't be equipped by this character. Really? Adeptus Astartes equipment. Well, it's it's just worse anyway, so who fucking cares, I suppose. Right. Uh, infusing. Devastating. Devastating 12. 12 damage. Finally, something better than what I had. Nice. There are two staffs in the game that Argenta can actually use. Cute. Wonderful. Implacable Tempest. 15 to 24, 30, 15% presentation. I mean, that looks cute, but it isn't actually very good. So, to cargo. Our fusion. And that's actually garbage too. Uh, Argenta, here you go. Rate of fire, 13. I like it. It's all about the kathunka thunka thunka. That's all that matters. The kathunka thunka above all. Everything else is pointless. Uh, combat. Uh, Rentless Rage. No, I don't want to reduce my armor. Alright. Speaking of, I have valuable data sticks. Um, let's feed that into my not at all Catan computer. Yes, let's take the information we got from the, uh. Oh, can I not? Can I not feed it into Normus? Can I not feed him the heretic information? Aww. Aww. A tragedy, to be sure. And now, off to do Tech Boy's mission. Which is no. Which is where is it? Something going to happen? No. Let's see. System Speculo. System Speculo. For the Bundus. There. System Speculio. I do wish it would actually mark that out for me, but oh well. System Speculio.
Oh. Okay, a whole bunch of different stuff has arrived here, huh? Explorator flotillas. They might be somewhat hostile to me. Your Lordship, hailing the ship surrounding the Hermitico's wreck led to receiving the following transmission. We are the Cognizant Fleet. We praise the Messiah Messiah of Discontinuing. We remain in prayer. We remain on standby. Let the cycle be discontinued. The Omniscient knows all, comprehend all. We are the Cognizant Fleet. We praise the Messiah of Discontinuing. Hmm. Pascal. What do you have to say about this? Confirm. The number of adherents of discontinuing the cycle does not correspond with the earlier prognosis. The willingness to declare one's commitment to the teachings of the Blessed Amarnath is anomalous. This unit is intrigued. Is there anything unusual about their ships? Yes, Your Lordship, we are picking up traces of recent combat on many of the vessels. Numerous traces. Based on the initial ra radiation background assessment, it appears that an Adeptus Mechanicus weapon has been used against them. I hypothesize that the schism with the Cognizant's fleet has reached a climax. My tech comrades raised arms against one another. It is with sorrow that I register this information in the archive. Patch me into one of the captains. It will be done, Your Lordship. A request denied. We are receiving only the message voiced earlier. Request landing. We received a standard denial of request message. Your Lordship, what outrageous impudence. Let me guess. Same over here. Uh, yep, same there. Okay. I have a sneaking suspicion they're going to start shooting at me soon. Your Lordship, according to the ship's registry, we are looking at the Arc Mechanica's Hermitico. We picked up a Vox signal coming from her. Permission granted, may the Messiah of Discontinuing reveal the way to a safe docking gate. Raspy voice of the person who recorded the message is vaguely familiar to you, but you cannot put your finger on it. Requesting the right to participate participate in the first boarding party. Evaluating shuttle docking options. Is it a safe docking spot? Not at the moment, your lordship. The damage to the hull makes observation difficult, and surviving vacuum locks are sealed shut. I hypothesize that the proper vacuum lock may be opened using my personal access code. Justification, a message from the Arc Mechanicus. All right. Let's bring Pascal along then, and um, definitely Argenta. And now, Adelbrad, we'll bring Idira for once. Idira has not come with us for a little while now. Yes. Plus, I'm missing her ability to actually heal. Very handy ability that I wish more people had. I should probably just give somebody else the uh, the sire, the one sire rating for biomancy. It would be really, really genuinely helpful. Uh, grants an additional one action point. Well, that's a nice and simple level up right there. Thank you very much. I'm certainly not going to say th no thanks to one more action point. But you two, hum. Idira, your primary stat is willpower, so let's just continue pumping that through the roof, I guess. Hmm. Fatebringer. Firestorm sounds fun. Molten Beam sounds funner. Let me get that. Right, your law percept speciality is in the warp, that makes sense. Seven percent of their dodge. I don't even know what his uh, dodge is. By one for every attack. Cute, not great, but cute. Ooh, pain channeling, yes. I like the idea of that. Nice. And flame.
sure. Toughness. Mental Breach, probably. Mind Thief. Anything and everything with mind in it sounds good to me right now. Awareness. Ooh, single attack, yes. And 10 AP. And poor little Pascal, you have been ignored for a very long time, haven't you? Please go to the Mundus Nullius system to the abandoned palace located on the ice world. Mundus Nullius system. All right, well, we'll do that after this then. Oh, but I, I kind of, I kind of wish the game would just level him up for me. I, I, I must admit, I kind of wish that. Ballistic skill. Just, I'll just take anything and everything that's offensive on you, okay? Uh, whatever the game recommends me to take, that's what I'm going to take. Because otherwise, this is going to take a while. There. You don't get to complain that my build sucks, because it's kind of technically only sort of pseudo kind of my build. I'm just taking whatever is at the top of the damage chart, okay? Video game wants me to use that? Mm, I, I agree, you know? Video game wants me to get aiming protocols? I shall get aiming pro protocols. Maybe I'll even get some ballistic skill. Video games want me to get overcharge protocols? I'll take it. Logic? Definitely. Credit velocity? Sure. Skirmish protocols? Why not? Ballistic skill? Absolutely. Improved tactics? Hot on the blood? Whatever that means. The More ballistic skill. Fire is the answer. <laughs> Claim and maim. Bolt weapon expert? Okay, to be fair, that sounds rather pointless for you. Um, more ballistic skill, maybe? Yeah, sure, why not? Attack yours. Crushing assault. There, simple dimples. Alright, as for equipment, um... The arc rifle remains the exact same arc rifle you've had the entire game. And you have received no new fancy looking sticks either, I am afraid. Oh, better piece of armor. That's something for you. Okay, don't don't say I never give you anything. Five tech cues, you want that? Logic, coercion, persuasion, perfect. There we go, he's leveled up just fine now. Oh, this ship is strangely familiar to me. Hello, random people. Are you, uh... This majestic metal it's statue. It's not frozen. That's, that's not it. It's, it's, it is a Skitari, probably. It's just that he's run out of power or something and gotten frozen in that position. None shall stand and in my yeah, way. this this does look familiar. Isn't this the ship that they were salvaging way back when? I feel like we saw a sh yeah no, this is definitely like, yeah yeah no absolutely. We saw an abandoned ship. I won't remember? tolerate weakness. This is that abandoned ship. I am ninety nine percent sure. Yes, it is. Like it's even got the same people inside of it, which is weird. I guess they just took it over. I suppose. The lean hunchback man stands you, st studies you with his piercing gaze. The ghost of nothingness have entered the deck of the Akgen tribe. We come in peace. It does not matter. You are ghosts. Take a close look at the man. The large man carries potential potential coil on his shoulder after manner of a tech priest. If it is held in place by straps and is not connected to anything, it weight has given him a hunched back. One of his arms has been replaced by an exquisite tech scribe augmentic, but the quill and style are incredibly dull, so they have been scraped against bare rock and the limb's servo motor is dormant. 
I am registering evidence of precious true flesh being operated in unacceptable conditions. The markings indicate that this sacred metal was fashioned many centuries ago on blessed Mars. Putting it to such crude and careless use is an insult to the Omnisire. Pascal, what do you make of them? Hypothesis. This primitive community is made up of descendants of low-ranking technomats who once serviced this deck. The name Akgen derives from category AC Gen. AC stands for the Acolyte category, which serviced the main decks. Gen referred to service staff who had assigned general as opposed to specialized maintenance duties. Uh, I never I don't seem to have understood a single word. Oh, okay, so... This ship has been drifting for god only knows how long, to the point where the scattered survivors have devolved. Alright. Adorable. Heresy how did you survive here? Fire is the answer. We hold the vigil for all existence, and the spirit of mechanism gives us water, food, and nutrient mix. We thank them for that with the rights of machine service and maintenance. So commands the great entity. I am registering multiple deviations from catechisms of maintenance and operations in the actions of these units. Hypothesis. The breaches of sacred instructions do not stem from malicious lapse in heresy. They are conscious of the rights having been lost to memory. A grave heresy, but not as profane. <laughs> Is anything unusual lately? The echo of an old crime was heard beneath the arcing vaults of our home. A ghost of nothingness walked amongst us, like appearance to you, but without a face. He spoke words that must not be spoken, and then penetrated the chamber of observance. And our abode was shaken by the wrath of the gods for days, and we felt as though we were drifting through nothingness. That is him, my mentor, Amarnat. Was he alone? No, other ghosts walked with him, but he alone had a mind and a will. The others did his bidding. What is the chamber of observance? An abode of deities and mighty spirits secluded from mortals. Down this great tube they used to descend to the mortals. Now they have all retired to the house of service. The calm and keen sighted. They are to remember and mourn the wall world that once was. The unit has given us distorted depictions of the Observatorum, the bay that housed the Hermeticus Bridge. There, under a grand dome of glass crete, the wisest hierarchs of the Adeptus Mechanicus would spend time in reflection and strive to discern the Omnisire's guiding signs and the glitter of the stars. Correction. This data is a hypothesis. An archive search yielded no confirmation of this data. My possession of it is an anomalous cognitive fluctuation. I want to get in there. Abandon this thought. Your kind can't go in there. The great tube was made from the travels of gods, not mortals. Only one who has the blessing of Preth, the great spirit who rules this death deck, may approach. The great tube. But even one such but even such a one will have tried in vain, for the great tube's spirits have sealed its gate, and will only open it to those who know the divine words. And the rust wraiths ensure that humans don't steal the words. They'll make short, short work of any thief. What are the divine words? Words command all existence. Hmm. The gods rule the universe using words of power. This time and mortals too were granted knowledge of them, but that time died along with the world. Hypothesis. The term divine word refers to a command litany. A thorough understanding of the situation aboard the Hematico will allow me to select the correct litany and recite it to the mechanism that are still operational. What are rust wraiths? The ancient ones, the servants of the gods. They used to be the gods' greatest warriors, and now they guard the peace of this universal cemetery and see to it that mortals don't challenge the divine order. The Skitari, the deck guard. These immortal servants are an elite detachment of the crew blessed with the most ancient and wondrous augmentic enchantments. They could survive in a sleeping state for centuries, even... Their presence here is unusual. Typical, the Im Immortals will only leave their storage chapels on special orders from the bridge. I guess they're amazingly spot on, Pascal. Situa the statement is false. Each of a hypothesis was logically deduced from our present situation. I see. Alright, well, I'm going to go find myself a tube of the gods to ride then, I guess. I'll lay claim to the stars. Where is the sacred tube? 
Victory awaits. Sandum for two dollars. Think any rogue trader ever hired Traitor Legion? Well, I'm not going to say it's never happened, but it would be extraordinarily dangerous. Now, rogue traders do have a great deal of uh, levity in who they hire, of course, but there are limits to that, and a traitor legionnaire is probably one of them. I identify this unit as Magos Logis Hectodon 9. Or was it... Yeah, no. Is it? No, 11. No, 11, yes? Because it's... If the I is after, it's plus. If the I is before, it's minus, is it? Unit receives seven commandments for advanced and astrography recorded in the fleet archive. The unit, he liked watching the stars. He called them beacons left for us by the Omnissiah. An un, un unit status operational. Unit ident ident identify itself. No data available. Error, error, malfunction. The Omnissiah knows what. He is suffering. This unit has long passed its operational life expectancy, but the particularly ancient and sacred true flesh it was awarded for its outstanding service to the fleet is still prolonging its years. Do you know him? This statement is false. My archive has no record of any encounters with this unit or any archive request concerning it. I just know and I grieve. The tribe's people inscribed his body with the blessed manual of maintenance and repair hypothesis. Ignorant as to the true purpose of the litany, they perceived it is as health replenishing magic spell. Tech Brother Hectodon 9. This unit identifies itself as Pascal Hanemon. Can you hear me? Do you know me? Can you tell me what happened here? Executing function. All reserve capacity engaged in executing primary function. We would like to go to the observatorium. Request denied. Access to lift system denied. Service is in obstructuria, obstructuria mode. An obstructuria is a complete ban on holy ministry within the compound. Any and all sacred maintenance procedures are deferred until after the ban is lifted. An obstructuria is declared when the temple has been compromised by suspected corruption before a battle or in the event of a major critical incident. This unit cannot select the appropriate countermining order without knowing the exact reason Obstructuria was declared. What, can I just shoot him, maybe? No. Oh, yeah. A new challenge for me. Okay. Uh, sorry. Huh? Do you believe the world has perished? So the same is true. Suggest. The world ceased to exist a very long time ago. It turned to nothingness. To ashes, all that's left are these ruins, the last shard of the universe. It's Xenotef. What do you think destroyed the universe? The unthinkable was wrought, the cycle was discontinued. This tribesman mind is full of the most unenlightened superstition. Why does this unit seemingly know less than some primitive barbarian? Is that good or bad? Neither. It just happened, but it was a grievous event, and we grieve. Is that why you call us ghosts? Yes, there are only nothingness outside the ship. Sometimes it spits out ghosts born out of the world's ashes and they wander in. The sight of you saddens us, for we mourn you. Alas, there is nothing we can do to help you since you do not exist. Alright. I was kind of hoping they might tell me about something. Ah. Apparently I just did. None shall stand in my way. I was hoping they would tell me what the obfuscation was, and I guess it just did. As its first pronouncement, this unit declares that no security threat to the High Observatorium is present. As its second pronouncement, this unit orders the operation of the lift system to be restored. As its third pronouncement, this unit confirms its authorization to issue that order. Unit's hierarchical rank not recognized. Authorization to give orders unconfirmed awaiting confirmation. This unit is not part of the Hermetico chain of command. It must introduce itself to the ship system for confirmation of its authority. Well, God, fucking help me, Pascal. Do it, then, you little nincompoop. I so, won't no, tolerate you must weakness. Press more speech bubbles to figure out more things. Pascal, help me. Aid me in doing what you require me to do, Follow you obstinate lead. little cow.
It's about time. Why does one bring a tech priest if the tech priest does not? Uh, if the tech priest cannot help. I'll lay claim uh, ben, what about stars. hiding a renegade like the Ashen Claws? That would probably be more acceptable, as it would be more difficult to discern. Like, you wouldn't know at first glance. Still very, very, very dangerous, but less so. A new challenge for me? Okay, just click every speech bubble in turn, hoping that one of them... None shall stand in my way. Will be some sort of registration thingy. Let us see what I found. What a secret door. Secret things. Victory awaits. Ah, let's see. For what is the great entity? The supreme deity, the spirit of wisdom, of revelation, it bears the name Manat. I am registering a meaningful linguistic pattern, requesting all available information on Am on Manat. Monarch is a divine being of great wisdom. It was this great wisdom that discontinued the cycle, and all that had partaken of it lapsed into nothingness. We never partook of the wisdom, which is why we exist, and I have nothing to tell you about it, ghost. I am the Fabricator General. My shoulders bear the sacred burden of leadership. The others fear you, as ghosts can carry the living away into nothingness, but I am protected by Monarch's grace. Fabricator General, I am registering heresy. The universe must have a fabricated general, the supreme priest of the Omnissiah. There is none others that hold the title, therefore it is mine. Okay. It's about time. Does that give you your thing Can you do it now? No, okay, so what am I missing? My lead. What button have I not pressed? Meet the Pref Spirit. I won't tolerate okay. weakness. Well, I'm assuming that's the machine spirit in this area, or the prefect construct or something. I am wondering where to meet him. King is Kek, what about no hiring a member of the Alpha Legion? Well, that would probably be an even more difficult thing to find out of, so... It would still get you murdered if they found out of it, but so long as nobody ever finds out, well, you're probably safe. Victory awaits. Alright, what button have I not pressed? I must have not pressed a button. I'll lay claim to the stars. Because obviously I need to be registered with the Omnisai. That's what he's asking me to a do. A new challenge for me? That leads to nothing. That leads to nothing. That leads to nothing. I've exhausted all the dialogue options. I won't tolerate weakness. Ah, oh, there we go. Tech Shaman. I thought I clicked on you. Have you come to speak to the great Pref so Ghost? Pref will not speak your lesser tongue, but I can help, I can interpret. And uh, the move mechanism. Uh, hmm. Oh, hold on. I mentioned category 6, 7, and 8 heresies in his tribesman investment. Only enlightened tech priests are authorized to dismantle and interact with the bodies of sacred machines, and painting of the skin in crude imitation of true flesh is a profane mockery. It is how I venerate the iron spirit to have done their duty and passed into nothingness. Ghost, I do this in the hope that I might gain some of their wisdom. The statement is false. I am not registering any veneration. How do you talk to Pref? 
like this. I am registering a kateg. Blast it, layman. This blessed smoke is meant for the sacred machines, not your lungs. This primitive melody is a language. Our language, a variety of rhythm-based tech vernacular in which meaning is created by the length of pauses between the signals. Okay, so ones and zeros. Our deck's great patron spirit who protects it and watches over everything that happens on it. Pref used to be a kind of father to us until wicked people tricked him. That was when we disowned the mortals who lived here. He wiped the names of everyone who used to be under his patronage from his memory and no longer recognized their faces. Since then, Pref has been a harsh and cruel-hearted master who is deaf to our prayers. Pref, hypothesis. The barbarian is using this debased designation to refer to a prefect unum... unum Enumerator, an especially sacred cogitator served by all of the decks of junior machine spirits. I am registering a category 6 heresy that tries to claims to communicate with it. Only enlightened adepts of the Omnisci are permitted to interact directly with a preferred enumerator. Hypothesis, the part of the legend that speaks of disowning the mortals and forgetting the faces describe the removal of access rights from unauthorized units. For reasons unknown, the prefect enumerator was ordered to cease accepting commands from outsiders. Okay, we have come to talk to it. The great pref would like to know who is speaking to him. The prefer the preferred enumerator is running an identification procedure. Given existing data on the machine spitter's refusal to follow orders within the chain of command, I predict that standard identifiers will be assigned a low priority. Do we need the old man? Um, the statement is false. The idiom is dis. Distinctive vernacular most likely only used by the ship's crew is intuitive familiar to this unit, but not intelligible. You are very useless, Pascal. Very, very, very worthless to me. Introduce yourself formally, Pascal. This unit is Magos Exporto Pascal Hanuman, a member of the Cognizance fleet, presenting doctrinal compliance and algorithmic obedience certificates. Pref asks why he should treat your words with respect and not scorn them. Machine Spirit is requesting to know this unit's access privileges. It refuses to submit to a stranger's will without a compelling reason. Okay, Machine Spirits can be capricious and undisciplined after years without sanctified maintenance. This one may have forgotten all about obedience. Normally, in cases like these, a tech priest would bring the wayward spirit to its senses with a shock from an electric prod or a blow from a wrench accompanied by the litany of uninterruptible obedience. I see. Hmm. So this is not a compelling reason. The hypothesis is of merit. This unit is conducting a rescue mission in which the safety of an Ark Magos rank unit is at stake, requesting emergency authorization. Pref inquires why you are seeking his friendship. <sighs> Pascal, I understand what he's saying. You don't need to translate for me. The preferred enumerated request is to be interpreted as what is the purpose of your visit. I know this. Why are you making me read more? Pascal, you are worthless. Worthless to me. Worthless. <sighs> Tell something profound and spiritual. Invoke the Omnisire. I am fulfilling my sacred duty of the service to the machine god. I intend to protect this blessed ship and the servants of the Omnisire aboard it. The Great Pref does not rec recognize your name or your face. He will not grant you friendship and beat you to leave. The preferred enumerator's request is anomalous. Such disregard for a Gaelic can only be explained by a protocol signifying an extreme degree of danger to the vessel. I align my path with yours, for now. I think high explosives is the answer. Uh, okay, so I need to click through this in the correct order. No, lie to it, why not? Yep, I ran on Omegos. Let's just go for three on all of them. Did that do anything? No. Follow my lead. All right. Two. Go force. Hit it. Uh huh. It's about time. 
<sighs> Game, I am not willing to pay attention to your stupid nonsense. Okay, Pascal, I, I am about to leave Pascal behind because he is confusing me more I'll than he's helping. To okay. the stars. <sighs> I'm speaking to him. Shut up, Pascal. You're useless to me. I am the Messiah of Discontinuing. Uh, show of force. Why you seek his friendship? Shut up, Pascal. Mm, mission from Amarnat. No. A new challenge for me? Oh my god. I hate these because this isn't really a puzzle even. This is just like, okay, guess the correct sequence. Pascal, you are useless to me. You are useless to me. So obviously, Messiah, because always declare yourself a god, because duh. Yep. Show force, because ritual percussion. Yep. And then... You know the answer? What have I tried? I've tried that. Uh, three? There we go. Okay. I guessed the correct sequence. Go on! I am sick of reading for you. Silly video game. Action! Thank God. Thank Jesus. Take a knee and bow before right. me. Everyone aboard this ship is going to die now. You. And you know what? I am glad for it. They deserve death. They all need to die. They have pushed my patience too far with their nonsensical reading. I hate Isn't reading. Isn't this a job for the serfs? I've realized this now. I have realized that I actually hate reading. I have realized. I have come to the inescapable conclusion that reading is for suckers and losers. And that nobody should ever, 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 ever engage in it. That's what I've realized. And on that point, I started blasting. This is why I was chosen. Okay, well, you missed a lot, but you tried. I'll do Good, it. Argento. You made an attempt, Argento, and that is uh, valuable, sort of. I serve the ruinous powers! Oh no! They have the ability to use the special abilities too! I don't like that. Death to non believers! Ability analysis successful. Ah! You dare touch cinnamon bun kitten? How dare you? Nothing I can't do. You're surprisingly tough, though. I'll give you that. Suits my purposes. Already done. I realize rushing. Not a problem Cassia, or more correctly, Pascal, all the way over there, might actually be perceived as a bit of an error in judgment now in relevance, because I could have done that. In fact, you know what, Pascal? I don't I like you anymore. You get fucked, Pascal. There you go. Eat dick. And die. Isn't this a job as duty demands? I'll paint your death in colors. You have outstayed your welcome, silly little tech priest. As the Emperor commands, I act. From now on, only harshness will be used against you. The vilest and the harshest of methods. <laughs> no avoidance of friendly fire for you anymore. None. Absolutely none. This is why I was chosen! You will be shot and stabbed however many times I choose. I'll do it. I can't quite convince the video game that I can shoot that, but that's fine. Faith without deeds is worthless. How, Argenta? How? He's laying on his back. Surely that would be a rather easy shot, no? Death to the weak! Ugh. 
I will end oh, you. Out of my way. At least he's fighting. At least that's something. At least that's something for Pascal. I'm not injured. I'm enraged. Although Pascal really should be sacrificing himself for the benefit of Argenta. He really should understand that he does not deserve to live in a world that Argenta gets wounded. This tedium is beneath me. <sighs> if I must. Failure. Yes, good. Hit Pascal. Hurt Pascal. Punish him. My faith shields me. Most aggressively, you may punish him. Eh, you can probably survive it. Yeah, and you don't I'll even do need it. to. Doubt is for the weak. <laughs> <laughs> Can escape that is a lot of shots, judgment. though. That is a lot of shots, though. I do love the... Uh, see, it's just... Rate of fire. Rate of fire is what you need. Just an endless amount of rate of fire is the correct solution to virtually every problem. I am his will made manifest. As the Emperor command eradicated. Beautiful. Good grill, Argenta. Good I'll grill. I'll do it. You will kill them all, leaving none alive. Emperor, give me strength. Me? If you insist, <clears throat> Lord Captain. 112. Ah. Isn't this a yep, job I'm for liking the, the new staff. I am definitely liking the new staff. This new staff's pretty chill. Be gone! Stupid Adeptus mechanic of Dumbo's. My vow is to serve. Thinking that you I had a chance to resist. Fear. Opposing oh. me was your biggest mistake. Intellect. You know you're supposed to be a sniper, right? You're supposed to be hitting those shots, not fluffing them. Or whiffing. I will not. Don't worry, Argenta. I've got another solution to this problem, Doubt and it includes shooting weak. Pascal. None can escape the Emperor's judgment. Ah. None shall stand in my way. Tragically, none of the civilians perished in the crossfire. Highly unfortunate. Highly unfortunate. And they carried garbage weapons, too. Oof. Victory awaits! Disgusting. How could the servants of the Omnisire be so thoroughly mediocre and pathetic? How, Pascal? How can your kind be so weak and gay? Oh, that's a lot more of them, at least. I tire of idleness. Let's you interrupted my thoughts. Join me in prayer. Watching the lazy head. Color the uncolored. I'm listening. Go on, Pascal. Forward. To your death. The face of the tech priest. Setting up is hidden behind a brass mask. That's the uh, mentor, then. There you are, tech brother. The sanitary procedure will be f performed and the identification codes verified after the priority request has been executed. Tell me where the blessed Amarnat is. You still don't understand. You are from Kalkazar's retinue. Does he have anything to do with this? Marginally. He used to play a major part in this story. Not anymore. This meeting is held upon my initiative. That said, I am still under the protection of the Lord Inquisitor and the Cognizance fleet. Keep that in mind. You're looking for Archmagos Amarnat, and you want answers. Looking? How absurd. You lack the very concept of what you are looking for, layman. You expect to find a man, and Amarnat never was one. He was never one person. The Amarnat Collective was created by a group of tech priests who renounced individuality and merged into a hive mind. Okay. 
A mind that resonated algorithmically but was guided by the principle and conviction of a righteous spirit, a superego that brought them one step closer to the Omnisire. You are looking for Archmagus Amarnat, you say? He has been by your side all time. Pascal, I always knew you were a fucking communist traitor. Kill yourself now. As the cycle coils in multitudinous loops, it intersects with itself and locks us in a cage of data vows. And therefore, the cycle must be discontinued. You're saying Pascal is part of the Hive Minder? He was his original creator. The Amanat Collective was designed to be a philosopher and a researcher. The concepts he produced were so powerful that they were almost destroyed by the Cognizance fleet. But then he faced an unsolvable dilemma, and that was when Amanat came apart. The seven constitutions serve constituent servants of the Omnisai hid their own memories from themselves behind false personas and were sent off to various parts of the Corona's expanse. They went to hiding. Each had to live in solitude for many decades, accumulating observations and eventually bringing back the experience to a reunited Amarnat, who would tackle the, the dilemma once more. That would be the restoration. 211 Terran years. It was such a long time. So the tech priests of the name Hanumat are all parts of Amanat? Yes, six mental keynotes. Dements was paranoia. After the separation, he sensed that his memory was a web of lies, and that feeling drove him to the depths of madness. Tarsus was faith, fiery and unyielding. Axiomath was logic, unclouded by emotion or value judgments. Abel was her good twin, imagination. He did not know his past just like the others, but he felt more than they did. He was always different. That was why he was the first to get close to the restoration, one of the first. Pascal was judgment, the moderation of the cognitive process, the one who makes the decisions. And Nihil, Septisims, the one who doubted. Did Amana believe he could form again? The plan sounds risky. The restoration was statistically calculated on a level beyond your comprehension, layman. Billions of variables were taken into account. Countless scenarios were, went into the development of optimal strategies. Two Amarnat units meeting each other at inevitable certainty. The matching identities were to be a spark that would start a chain reaction, and that was precisely what happened. We've been motivated by the perfect stimulus. Curiosity, anxiety, shame. Each part of us was hostage by the legend of a betrayal it had committed, for suffering drove us to search and strive. Its name was Eschatos, the secret to the right of putting a machine spirit to death. A technology embodying the discontinuing of the cycle. Was it meant to exist, or was this the acma of profanity against Omnisire and his creation? Eshatos was the perfect weapon against creations of the Omnisai that had been corrupted by the enemies, but also against his faithful servants. Its spread could bring victory to the Imperium, or it could destroy it. Eshatos could spell the end of the Adeptus Mechanicus, for it was the perfect answer to the power wielded by the cult of the Mechashian god. Was it a blessing or a curse? There was no answer. Protraction was unacceptable, and so a way was found to shelve the issue. And I found the answer, Eshatos should not exist. We will correct our mistake. What is Eshatos? The power of machine negotiation, a new spheric signal that interrupts any and all life created by the Omnisire. The power that I used to tap into unconsciously. Shared knowledge lay dormant inside the mind of every Amarnat unit. You tried to decrypt, you tried to decrypt the other Hanemons and neurocogitators, did you not? But to no avail. It was you who created the cipher that locked Amanat's memory. You are the maimed hunter you tried to kill the other Hanuman. This statement is true. I was admitted into the Lord Inquisitor's retinue and authorized to study a dangerous artifact taken from Amanat. I tried to exert some kind of influence on me, but my data vows protected me. A short circuit awakened some of my memories. I conducted an analysis, solved the Eshat dilemma, and began to act. My agents are all but terminated Tarsus. All but. But he hid under an armor of mart martyrdom and insanity. An attempt to intercept Pascal on Altar Templum Calixis X-17 failed because Abel had summoned him. The assassins caught up to him at the Raikaid Minori Starport, but he was able to escape again. Another group went after Abel only to perish at an Electro Priest Monastery. You dispatched Dements, who had lapsed into heresy. Axiomanth simply disappeared until the sudden turned up dead on Euphrates too. I have no idea how she managed to hide from me. Hmm. 
Kalexa were harboring Exima the whole time. She was working for him. That's... yeah, yeah. I am registering a lie. Oh, oh, oh. Lone Inquisitor shared my conviction that Amanat's legacy had to be destroyed. He was summoned to the Coron's Expanse by loyal members of the Cognizant fleet in order to depose Amanat. It was his troops that attacked the Hermetico in an attempt to obliterate our schismatic creation. So that was how you got on board the ship and into the Observatorium, Nihil. Our traitorous tech comrade gave Kalkasar the access code to the bridge and he gave them to me. You were deceived, sister. Kalkasar appropriated our work. He continued our research, no longer bound by the ominous cannon, and you enabled him by destroying those who would return and reclaim his bloodied prize. Uh, that sounds more correct, yes. Lies. You betrayed your brother's sister. Such an un act is unforgivable. Hmm. Yes, yes. We all chose the path of martyrdom. I merely ho helped them reach the supreme goal at the end of that path. Tech brother. I offer you the chance to yield peacefully to a fate that will please the Omnissire. Do not resist your termination, and you will pass into oblivion as my friend and fellow believer. No, Tech Sister. Refraining from resistance was never our way. I am an explorator, a reconnoiter of knowledge. I have brought fire to a hundred worlds, and I have gleaned a thousand secrets in the darkness. I am an ancient of unbridled will. I will not yield to oblivion for oblivion is fair. Mm, you all need to shut up now so I can kill you. <sighs> From a kid's here's a road trade apart from here. Alright. There's no need for that. This debate, this dilemma is ours alone. Cox plasma pistol rests gently against the back of Pascal's head. I like the other one better than you, Paul Strigger. I lured you here for a reason, Pascal. I wanted you to see what our fellows had become. This is what your deviation from dogma ends in. Breach of canon begets ignorance, ignorance begets blasphemy. All we did was breed corruption, schism. Remember when they came to despise us? We disrespected them and destroyed this ship. A sacred relic, an arch mechanicus older than our priesthood itself. Here in this hall we released a shatos and allowed an un unconscionable heresy to happen. Do you remember? Do you remember how you got your cleft jaw? Carl Pascal looks thoughtful as he touches his crack running across his armored respirator. A green spark runs through the deep gash left by an enemy's weapon in the metal. It's... I like this one better. Can we get to the point where I kill Pascal in favor of this one? And it suffice for you to merely show up in the expanse against for the schism to rear his head once more. The cognizant fleet is already being torn apart by a fratricidal war. It is what we wanted. Let us finish this. Let us discontinue the cycle. You violate procedure, skepticism. You usurp the uh, function of the other. You challenge only. You do not make decisions. I do. Mm. Let us destroy it. You are right. Where is the option to kill Pascal? Where is the option to execute Pascal for being obviously in the wrong? Mm. I hate you. I will seek any opportunity to kill Pascal. You must not fight, Pascal. The decision is his to make, and I have made it. Mm. It's one of condemnation. Tampering with procedure is unacceptable. Sabotaging the experiment is apostasy. If your betrayal, your vital functions will be terminated in the name of the Messiah of Discontinuing. I refuse to recognize you as the Messiah. I do not believe in you. That is your problem. You have always been too skeptical. I won't heed your cries of mercy. Okay. Urge them. That last part was kind of funny, but I'm going to kill you now, Pascal. I am going to kill you, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Nothing whatsoever. I'm going to line up directly behind you, and I'm going to pump every bit of friendly fire I can into your fucking buttocks. Because I don't like you anymore. You're bad. I don't like you. I really should spread out some more because of all of the, you know, AoE that I'm likely to eat in a second or two. That's first and foremost. Not a servitor. Is the of his Get into melee. Secondly, Argenta. Chick chick. And open fire. This is my <laughs> 
There, I hit several As enemies the there. Give me loads of purple juice. So many enemies hit. I hit at least three of them. Ow! Lots of that, actually. Weather the storm! Thank you for shooting your friend in the back of the head. Uh, why did we skip Idira's turn? My prescience has failed me! Whispers getting okay. louder. The battle formation is ah, and then we start reloading until I get the correct fucking roll for, you know, moving any of my units. It's like, I'm sorry, but the room is filled with enemies, and they all get priority <laughs> initiative over you. Does something trouble you. I guess you'll speak, die before you Elon get to do anything. Did I mention that? Is this a strategy video game? No. Skip. Skip, 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 Skip 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 for Please. The Emperor. Please die. Please die. Please. I beg of you. Kill yourself. Now. I want your suffering to end, okay? I want your suffering to end. I really do. I really, really desire your suffering to no longer continue. You must understand. I am doing this for your own good. Ah, this time I got some better rolls. Good. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Here, let you can go up there. If that I actually may. didn't help me much. That didn't actually help me much at all. Eh. Faith More people in left. Deeds is worthless. As the Emperor commands, Hit all the of them Emperor once, if you'd be so kind. For you, and that Emperor. one. <laughs> okay, well... This is Thank you! Chosen. There you go. That will give Doubt me a lot of purple weak. juice. Domo arigato argenta kawaii desu. Let me guess. She's at the... Pre no, 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 no. She gets her turn early. Okay. I have read tomes of military I hope. tactics. Yes, she does. Okay, good. If it serves your cause. Phew. I understand your intent. Another soul slips beyond the veil. Good. Much better. Much better. This tedium is beneath nice. me. Just got a roll initiative that isn't absolutely if it serves your awful. Cause. That's all. Why did I not foresee this? Is Molten Beam actually Beam? It is actually Beam. Good. Uh, Fire was, Beam. Was that you? Or... And once you are done firing Beam... Puff. Argenta. And that's all you need to do. Okay. Weapon at the ready. Yet iron knows no pain. So why are you skipping my turn? Oh, it's got to be something that she does, I guess, that skips people's turns. Me? If you insist, Lord Captain, I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. I really don't like you skipping Isn't my turn. So I would prefer serves. it if you would just fucking die. If I may. I'll just keep hitting you psychically until you eventually do. Right. Um, hmm. Idira, you're gonna die, so I'm gonna put that on you. 
me. Minus 30 if toughness, you insist, yes. Lord Captain. If only that were possible. That is foolishness. How is that not possible? Put it on Jinta. I'm afraid not. Why not? Why do you resist me? What have I done to you? Moving out! <laughs> An unworthy soul! Pain cleanses the body! Breathing death to bulk. Jesus, Pascal, you are far it. more of a pussy than I expected you to be. Emperor, protect me! Integrity failure. Detected. Pascal, you are pathetic. Weak. I will avenge you. Cassia tanks better than you. A lot better than you. Well, my entire team is basically stunned, so I, I guess we just sit here and let the enemy take my like, two full turns, basically. Yeah, it's all up to RNG now. My reckoning will be swift. Right, Idira. Um, do you have anything that can stun that person? I don't think that stuns. It what will hurt what? the shit out of her, though. Ill fortune has Unless, of course, me. she just crits and instant Blessed kills you, in which case there's that. Sacrifice for the Imperium. Most unfortunate. Let's see. Even overcharged, my gun doesn't actually do that much damage. Hmm. Suits my purposes. Watch and learn. All too easy. <laughs> Another clean Two strike. Of those. Suits my purposes. Give our gent a little buff. Not a problem for me. And turn around and shoot bad woman many I'll do times. It. To you, my emperor. Oh, never mind. Arbitrary boss fight mechanic. What, uh, what was the arbitrary boss fight mechanic? What did you do? Did you just stop my attack for no fucking reason? You did, didn't you? Faith without deeds okay, is well, worthless. Load your gun, I guess. Now then, Cassia, you're definitely gonna need to buff yourself because I feel like this is going to probably descend into a one-woman show at this rate. I am a navigator, not a servant. Another bow painted black. Good. Two less to deal with. I'll show you why. Will you take your free turn now, feared. Argenta? You I'll will. Good girl. All right. You know what? I think I need less enemies. I think that's something I need. Less of you. For the weak. This is why I know we can escape the Emperor's judgment. <laughs> Eradicated. Good, good Argenta. Good girl. Very good girl, Argenta. Very good girl. I'll do it. Very good girl. Very good girl. Okay. Less enemies. Can there be fewer enemies? There are good. I don't worry about, I don't really I'm worried about you. Right, if I shoot you, are you gonna do As more the gay commands, stuff? I I act. I'm gonna hope I'll no. do it. <laughs> For you, my emperor! Mm. Yes. Faith without Die. There you go. That multi-hit bonus. Oh, it's delicious. In thy light I stand, it's and absolutely thy light I crave. delicious. It turns her into such a violent little murder machine. Oh, look at that. Look at that damage. Mm. Doubt is for the weak. <laughs> yes. That is how you hurt people's feelings.
As the Emperor commands. Uh 101. Yes, yes, yes. Massive increase to crits. Isn't this a job for... Much, much better. Much happier now. Much happier. Much happier. If I may. Erla, you're just going to get yourself killed again, so run away. Do not dare ask. Aw. I'm a little sad that the video game don't allow you to just continuously Nothing use one character do. to kill literally the entire so enemy purposes. team. That would be a nice thing. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Cassia and Argenta. Every other character is sort of kind of not really necessary. Just these two. These two are all you need. They are all you require. I'll do it. Interesting. Apparently the video game has determined that I can't actually shoot through that. Weirdly enough. This way. Well, video game. <laughs> That's gotta hurt. Help me, Lord Captain. I am not your Xenos pet, monkey. Are you hurt, hurt? Let's go on. Help, help. If I must. No, I hear you moving. No more. Good girl. Forge ahead! Already done. I mean, at least I'm starting to All do some easy. damage with Arch character. To a degree, but... Not a problem for me. You can stop being on fire Suits as well. my purposes. And I can even order you around. Not that it's going to do anything, because somehow I can't see these targets, but... Actually, I, I can't. Hold on. Maybe I can with the line? As the Emperor commands, I act. No. Okay. Well, worth a try. Battlefields are always drowned in scarlet. Me, as duty demands. Isn't this a job your for the brains sun? will pour out from your anus, and there is so nothing you can do to stop it. I will endure. Guided by there faith. Now it is time to die. Now it I'll is time it. to click click. What's my rate of fire at the moment? My rate of fire now should be a lot. Uh, 13. Well, it's 13 plus everybody killed. So rate of fire... Does it tell me here anywhere? It doesn't, does it? I'm pretty sure my rate of fire at the moment is baseline now 26. Plus one per no kill. Can escape the Emperor's judgment. Uh, the Real Horsinator for five dollars. What's your favorite Sabaton song? Stalingrad and a piece of a mile have been speaking to me recently. I think my... I don't know. Despite myself, I quite enjoy Carolus Rex. But, um... What is, what are the new ones? A Charge of the Dead Men, I really like too. And Ghost, uh, Ghost Division. That one's very good as well. Stop! Thou shalt not create a schism! Thou shalt not suffer a heart attack! I do not want this tech sister, but the procedure must be completed. Farewell. It's different. His morbid aura of martyrdom has given way to a calm, powerful halo of purposefulness. Hmm. I want to shoot him. Where is the ability to shoot him? I declared the period of ignorance over and will resume execution of the general algorithm. Integrity has been rehabilitated to a satisfactory degree. Memory access has been restored. I remember everything. Are you Amarnat? The statement is true. I carry with me his memory and his logical foundation. I am us. I am Amarnat. 
Thank you for the path we have walked, and I am sorry about what happened to Theodora. What were you? A gentleman passed through the secret of ex that exist or be shunned as a foul path. And should I exist? That is we, Amarnat. No. No, you should not. I wish to shoot him. I wish to shoot him now. Hmm. Destroy it. Yes, destroy. I don't like your hive mindy nonsense. Death. Echatos is not to blame for the schism and bloodshed that followed its creation. The blame lies with us. The innermost secret must not be lost because of our imperfection. We recognize that the Amanat Collective has proven itself incapable of solving the dilemma and doesn't deserve rebirth. So let the dilemma henceforth be solved by Pascal Hanemon alone. No. I hate collectivism. Are you going to kill me? Yes. <laughs> Your urgement is accepted. Farewell, it's been glory great and so an arch of terror. The unit Pascal Hanemon's service is ended. I always hated you. I always hated Pascal. I really did. I never liked him. I then he dragged me on on this can. silly mission with far too much reading. And then he revealed himself to be a communist hive mind. This was the only way this could possibly ever end. It should have ended this way earlier. Excellence matters. It should have ended this Follow way first. And then I should have been able to go up to the woman and go, Yeah, I hate communism too. Let's destroy this weapon. And then we could have been happy. We could have been I'll friends. But no, Pascal got in the way of friendship yet again. I hate him. Hate him, I do. Hate it's Pascal. About Pascal time. dumb. Pascal deserved to die. Mm. Much happier now. Much happier. Your Lordship, we are observing a large squadron of Deptus Mechanicus forces. Many of the ships are badly damaged. Judging by the position of the servants of the Omnissiah, they are divided into two groups. I dare say they were fighting not long ago. I am picking up a signal from one of the ships. The ship is identified as Fornaflens' dynasty vessel. You are being hailed by a representative of the Explorator Cognizant's fleet. Query, is the statement that the Messiah is dead is true? Is the statement that the schism has ended true? They wish to... <laughs> Pascal... Hello there. Hi. I'm pretty sure you're still having a plasma bolt of mine lodged in your fucking cranium. The heresy is over. No, cleanse the fleet. Kill everyone that follows communist ideals. All of them. We are picking up an active voxel change on encrypted frequencies between the export ships. They are opening fire. They are shooting one another. But a good part of the ships from the same squadron seem to have joined their opponents. This, this is slaughter. They have no chance. The constant fleet praised the end of the schism. The heresy is purged. The purity of the ritual is restored. The Omnissiah knows all. Comprehends all. Good. Good. Finally, they're dead. Pieces of shit. Mm. And Ben, uh, fighting on a spaceship hull? What? Question? Uh, well, it's possible. It's definitely possible. It's probably only possible for enhanced individuals, like, you know, space marines and stuff, but it can work. And Kibbs, I, I told you the story of how I met Kibbs. I know that. Uh, he might have made a podcast, and that was it. And then he was like, hello, I'm Kibbs. And I was like, hello. And then we started playing World of Warships together, because I was like, this is a kind of cool game. Because back then, I expected people on the internet to just be friendly. Really? Uh, send patrols? Oh, trophies, thank you. Service thank you, Dunker. I appreciate that. Uh, and footfall, yes. Wait.
Did that flight path get shittier since last time? Apparently it did. Hmm. Uh, Miss Chat finding on ship hole and meeting Kyle. Oh, I, I'm pretty sure I entered the meeting Kyle part. I'm pretty sure, relatively sure, almost certain. Yes, I think I said that. I forgot to that told, told. Hey, you said that. Told that story many times. You silly little bastard. Someone tell us again to visit the Ice Powers Planet. Ah, right. Yes, that's right. Somebody did tell me about that. What was it? Um, please go to the Mundus Nullius system to the abandoned palace located on Ice World. Mundus Nullius. Oh God, where's that? Nola. Adamath Porter Mundus Mundus Valencius Mundus Mundus Nullius Ice Planet? Hmm. Service guarantees citizenship. Ice World. Ah, no more Pascal. Brilliant. I always hated him. Kinda I kinda hate you too, Idira. I like Uwugar better. Ruined Palace? But why? A new challenge for me? Uh, Governor Will by the Gersical Empress Mankind, we James Nigel von Poven, Rekvan from the Nimbus Governor's Zone, no many of the Young Men Mains, Picton Goals by Instructions, Robust and Firm in Body and Spirit, what? Wolf shoes in shape of similar height and stare, dainty and beautiful, fair of hair with eyes of colour of middle sky, so shall it be. Alright, well, sometimes you gotta None fight some women. Stand in my way. That makes sense. Why wouldn't you do so? Bone break them all. I rise to the occasion. Uh, back a dozen centuries, this palace is probably one of the oldest outposts of the Imperium. I won't tolerate weakness. Done. Sometimes I you require busty fire. women. This is good. Follow my lead. And if one has the power to requisition busty women, why would not one do so? Obviously, one would do so. One would be weird and silly to not do so. Watch your steps. My warp sight reveals something. Stuff. Stop. There. I cannot go on like this, Helena. I cannot. I serve my loyalty as I did my father and his father. Father, but this cannot continue. No, I am tired. To bury the corpse of murderers and traitors of the Imperium is the noble thing to do, but now I must conceal the deaths of these innocent young men and women. They're almost children. Cursed by the day when I get, when the governor became the ruler of this world. I will break this vicious circle. This I promise. Tonight I will flee the estate and together we will journey to the Star Speaker. Hmm. Are you trying I'll to stop claim to the, stars. the poor governor of this planet? Gaining his dutiful and righteous quarry of buxom women? Because that is an extraordinarily immoral thing to do, I'll have you know. Challenge for me. Excellence matters. A governor is entitled to his group of buxom women. If he was not entitled to it, he would of course not be governor, obviously enough. It's about because time. governors are appointed by the god emperor. Wow, he's still alive. A lushly dressed, vaguely human-like carcass reclines back into a massive Klexian oak armchair. Aha. This creature just remains motionless and his eyes stay tightly closed, and yet the muscles of this sort of face twitch ever so briskly when you approach. Uh, what? I want to leave this place. Right now. Draw so weapon looks zero. Cocks a questioning eyebrow. Throw a grenade. Sounds like a good idea. Open fire on the carcass. That sounds like a good one as well. But I'm intrigued now. Who are you? Kor Marjag Rufnagel Hept. God Emperor, hear your daughters, please. May your guide my hand such that this heresy no longer defiles the ground upon which your servants tread. 
Sharp scales break away from the skin with every shot at the creature's flesh explode. Isn't his ugly carcass to a bloody pulp? The mutilated face, completely stripped of skin, even bones, grins at you with the demented smile of a severed jaw. K more Agalantak. Do not get in the way. The projectile strikes right between the kid's glowing eyes, barely piercing the scale covered forehead. Uh, okay. Oh, it's still alive. Snake like tongue emerged from the creature's mouth and it licks it blood. Uh huh. Welcome to my feast. The creature idly jiggles as it chins in an effort to remember human speech. It jowls melding into, un into its shoulders and faintly glowing ribcage. A peculiar accessory shaped like a scarab and covered in luminescent pattern has painfully lodged itself into its flesh of the creature, something that undoubtedly used to be a man. You've heard of powerful Xeno artifacts from the distant Halo stars discovered by humanity millennia ago. Artifacts belong to a race more ancient than the most venerable among the Eldari. Artifacts most impure are fatally dangerous, forbidden in the Imperium, on threat of the cruels of torture, and yet capable of granting the darkness of humans' desire. It means to tease death and to embrace life eternal. Ah, oh, necro nonsense, are we? I didn't miss it, Halsey. I just haven't gotten to it yet. Calm down, Halsey. Halsey, Bert, Halsey. <laughs> uh, Halo device should not have gone such a weakling. I will take it. Uh, that's a bit too heretical for me. Attack, be gone, monster. I finally taste savory flesh again. More enemies to face judgment. We well, are truly blessed this day. That was loud. Hey, Space Wolf, uh, you go and be in front of that, because I think it's going to be dangerous for some reason. Oh. I don't know, I suspect as much. Argenta's going to go first. I like it. Mm. Cassia, there you are. Come over here. There. Okay, in that case, you can be done. If I right, may. Ulugar, please tag in. Actually, better than that. The Stay. Oh, uh, well, I see. It's small. It doesn't actually matter. But I figured I, I could maybe tag him in there servitor. somehow. Right. Uh, how much damage is it going to do? <laughs> this is why I was chosen. Less than I was anticipating. Hmm, a tragedy, a true tragedy. Doubt is for the weak. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. Right, Argento. The enemies of the Emperor will be. It appears undone. the servitor has many, many health points and many, many armors. It. Shoot it again. <laughs> there we prayer. go. It's okay, Argenta. You can, you can. This is why I was chosen. You can stop firing now, Argenta. It's dead. Commands, I act. Uh. Why, well, yes. Do fire another one of those. You, my emperor. <laughs> they all moan so meanly at me. I don't like it. All right, let's see how dangerous the ancient servitors are beyond simply having enormous health bars. So, Sabaton. Three whole stadiums says Sabaton opened with Ghost Division when I saw them last. The entire stadium sang along to the point where it was just the crowd on the chorus. Chorus. Hype. Ah, you've seen Sabaton live, have you? Mm, jelly. A little bit jelly there. Sabaton are good people, despite being Swedish. They are Swedish, which makes them wrong, but Sabaton is good music. I like Sabaton. I like Sabaton quite a lot. Well, that took away your ability to hit him. Why? Okay, kick him. There you go. 11 damage. 11 damage is 11 damage. What can I say? Sabaton's really good. Love Sabaton. Love Sabaton. <laughs> Oh, well, so far they haven't proven to be too dangerous, I guess. Nothing I can't. You didn't stand a chance. Already done. <laughs> Another clean strike. Garcia, my dear, would you care to kill that one? Isn't this a job for the serfs? 
I'm not kill that one. If I may, another foe painted black. Thank you. Me, if you insist, Lord Captain. I'll paint your death in colors. Remember, Argento, there's God no such thing as me. not taking Leave enough turns. In my heart. I'll do it. Click, click. Hmm. As the yes. Emperor commands, oh, you oh, oh. Emperor. This is why I was chosen. Oh. <laughs> And again, Argenta. Just I'll keep do doing that until they're all dead. Ah. I selected the wrong point of elevation. Silly me. Don't select the wrong point of elevation. Because if you do, all of those shots will be completely fucking meaningless, of course. Is that the correct point of Faith elevation? I hope D, so. Is it is good. Eradicated. Good, Grill Argenta. I'll Keep going. Oh. For you, my emperor. God, she does escalate As very nicely, nicely, doesn't she? <laughs> None can escape the emperor's judgment. When Argenta starts to get going, she deals a lot of damage. <laughs> Revel in the slaughter. I'm not accustomed to being ordered around. Uh, 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 uh. Argento, would you like to fight Mr. Howard too? I'm sure you would. Be careful right, so not to cross my gaze. That guy is a bad guy, so we are going to mark him Me? with the mark of if bad. You insist, Lord Captain. And then we're simply just if going to fuck around in his head. For however many times the game will I allow me. I am a navigator, not a servitor. Which is a lot with the finest hour. Isn't this a job for the serfs? I really desperately wish the game would just go like, okay, you have X amount of charges. I'm not Here you can use all of them. Around. My god, would that me. be if you so insist, much Lord more Captain. comfortable. And the whole set all says, Holtzy is an impatient son of a bitch. He is. He is indeed. Oh, God. Are you telling me you're going to shoot that beautiful chair as well? Oh, but it's such a lovely little, uh, I don't know, I chase launch? It's not a chase launch. I know, I know that for a fact. It's definitely not a chase launch. If it launch. serves your cause. But it's a chair. All right, that guy better do some Page really serious done. damage because the game was really hyping I him up. Do. Like, I oh yeah, you. he can take like shots to the chest Page and shit, and not even blink. And he's taken many shots to the chest now. To be fair, hmm. no matter yeah, well, the cost. It's been ages since Adelbard has gotten to do his daring course. breach. Victory is one fewer target. My place is at the fall. So I think you should be alive to him. There was a time when Dear Adelblad would kill entire Indeed. armies by himself. He has since been somewhat outshone by Argenta and Cassio's ability to also kill entire armies by themselves, but with singular abilities. Rather than requiring any silly, like, multi-action nonsense. Okay, well, you were tough, I'll give you that, but... It will be done. Uh, I took care of this one. At your back and call. One fewer target. But I'm starting to wonder if I've taken a single point of damage. I will bathe this battlefield in righteous fury. Doubt is for the weak. I'll do it. Ah, Genta. How As dare you Emperor miss like that? Thank you, prayer. Silly, silly Argenta. Dumb Argenta. Shameful. Let's see how they respond to this. Nothing I can't. 
All too easy. My blood. Someone else can do this. Oh goddamn, death of that. It's like I can't charge that way. Why not? He's too close. Adelblad, you picky little whore, son. Hmm. Another soul slips beyond the veil. Okay, you well that was creepy. The presence of House Orcelio. Fortress World Tempestus Carapus. Halo device. The most common 25 strength, toughness, ability, general toughness, immunity, energy, and trauma. Regenerate toughness, most wounds. When I kill any, damage that I won't present until the end of combat. While well, the intelligence, willpower, and fellowship are reduced by one, no less than one, until the end of combat. I mean, that sounds None shall stand in my fucking way. amazing. But I feel like that's also a little bit, I don't know, hyper heretical. Follow my lead. Oh, that was well hidden. Heresy is the question. Fire is the answer. <laughs> so who can? Uh... Only I can equip it, huh? Uh... Oh, that sounds like a trap. Strength instead of fellowship. Hmm. I mean, this would be amazeballs if I was a melee character, but I am not a melee character. Threat level Fatalis Maxima. Immediately consign the artifact to oblivion on a desolated world and report the coordinates to the Holy Inquisition. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I won't tolerate weakness. Chat says you should save your game for no real reason before putting it on. Yeah, I'm wondering about that. I think I'm going to give it to Henrix because I think I wouldn't like what it does to me. I think it would be a terrible, terrible idea to put that on. Do you really trust Henrix with this one? That's a good point as well. Maybe... Maybe this is Archer's little secret. Maybe, maybe, maybe this is just, just Archer's little secret. I think maybe it is. I think maybe Henrix shouldn't be given access to that one. I think uh, Henrix and his master should not be given access to items of quite this import, yes. I just want to see what it does. Okay, fine. Saving. Uh. The genius creation of an unknown craftsman shimmers, hypnotizes you with its faintly glowing patterns. The trinket is so captivating, you cannot take your eyes off it. When you try to shift it into your hand, you notice that it can barely separate from your skin. There are thousands of fine flagellas stretching between the surface and your palm. You tear the device off with effort and see countless tiny droplets of scarlet left behind. <laughs> and Heinrichs from the other side of the room. A halo device. <laughs> A Xena's creation that twists the mind and soon the body of its master. An item subject to the Inquisition's general decree of total annihilation. In this matter, my authority exceeds your privileges, Lord Captain. And he just kind of grabs it from me, I guess. Yep, he does. Yes, I'm, I'm thinking... I'm, I'm thinking this is what we call a little secret... Just between me, myself, and you. Just a little secret. Just a little tiny secret. All right. But with that, I will wrap up this episode of Rogue Trader. We got both of the little party quests done with, which was very nice, I think. Excellent progress. And I'm presuming we're now probably 
nearing the end of chapter four, I'm thinking. Because all that remains now is going to challenge um, Calix. And then probably chapter five will be the war against Calix. I'm thinking. We'll see how that works out. An Inquisitor? Hmm. A mighty prey, if nothing else. Until next time, chat, thank you very much for watching and for your generous donations. Oh, and Real Holstater says, I'm seeing Sabaton open for Judas Priest soon. Lol. That does sound amazing, dude. I hope you enjoy it. Until next time, have a good day, chat.